is everyone doing on this fan fucking tastic Friday chat? My fucking forgot to turn it on. Awkward. Anyways, um, it's React Day today, chat. It's motherfucking React Day. We got a few things that we're doing today. Uh, starting out. Uh, obviously, we're going to be doing reactions. Uh, we got a bunch of stuff. I'll do a little uh, rundown of the videos that we're going to be watching. But uh, more importantly, uh, it is also a charity stream uh, day today. Uh, we are doing a charity stream for World Wildlife Fund. Uh, exclamation point WWF. If you want to donate, um, you can donate um, directly to the charity through Tiltify. Uh, and your message will show up uh, and I will read it. Uh, just as if I normally do a bit dono. So if you planned on buying bits uh, or anything today or doing any donos, uh, instead of doing that, donate it to WWF. Um, but yeah, yo, the booty hole tickler. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifted subs. Dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you get a sub. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you. Anyways, uh, WWF charity stream today. We got a $2,000 goal. Let me pull up uh, the campaign real quick here. Uh, we got a $2,000 goal. We have a few things here. Uh, as goal milestones that we could hit. Uh, number one, obviously, mini shield as per usual. Uh, we have an extra YouTube video for the week. And then we also have buy item of chat's choice for a stream. Uh, now, if we hit that goal at $1,500, uh, basically, you guys will uh, all, you know, fucking spam whatever item you want me to buy. Uh, and then I will buy uh, an item for stream um, if we hit that goal. Uh, but... Uh, you know, that's if we hit it. Hopefully we do, uh, and then we'll we'll see what it is. Uh, but yeah, you know, we'll do a poll, like, broadly of uh, what you guys would want to see. But uh, everybody's spamming Jiggle Machine. Okay, well, you know, I'll buy a Jiggle Machine, get a Rose toy. Somebody ban that kid. <laughs> somebody, somebody, don't actually ban him. Somebody time out that kid, please. Thank you. Somebody get him. Somebody get out of my chat today. I'm not dealing with that. Nope. All right, anyways. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jiggle, I thought Jiggle Machine was bad. Anyways, the OJ Simpson gloves? Stop. 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 Anyways, WWF Charity Stream. If you don't know what WWF is, it's the World Wildlife Fund. I'm doing a uh, charity stream for them for their event, uh, which is called Stream 60 for Earth, um, which is like a Twitch streamer event that they're doing. And basically, World Wildlife Fund helps with a, a wide array of things. Uh, you can read a whole section about them if you uh, hit the link. Uh, they have a whole thing here. Uh, for the About the Campaign. I wrote this, uh, and then they also have their own About page. Uh, but they help with a lot of stuff, uh, including conservation efforts for endangered species, greenhouse gases, safe water sources, uh, sustainable food sources. They do a lot of stuff uh, kind of for the ecosystem, wildlife, and conservation in general. Uh, they're a great charity. Uh, I donated the five, 5K of the 20K uh, to them from the uh, 2 billion thank you video. And, you know, now we're doing a charity stream for them as well. So that's also a fucking dub. Uh, but, yeah. You know, I'll read the donos as they come through. Uh, just as I would a normal, uh, you know, fucking dono. But uh, outside of that, it's a regular React stream. We're just doing Reacts today. I'll read the donos as they come through. Um, and, yeah. Uh, anyways, Trishy, uh, or Trashy for the sub. Uh, Colby, Key, and Crispy for the sub. Girl for the sub. Sophia for the thread. In your opinion, how soon is it, how soon is too soon to say I love you in a relationship? How soon is too soon? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you mean when is it not too soon? Because, like, I mean, how soon is too soon? A day in, two days in, three days in, four days in, right? If you're asking me when it's applicable to say I love you in a relationship, obviously, I would say don't say it a week into dating, but... I mean, realistically, it's just whenever you you feel it, you know? Like, whenever you feel like you love the person. I mean, you don't want to say it too early. But I, I, I think when, when's, like, an average time that people say I love you in a relationship? Six months in? Six months? Six, six months, usually? Some people wait a year. I feel like you don't really need to wait a year. I think the people that tell you you need to wait a year are kind of crazy. Uh, but, I mean... Oh, what's up, WWF? A month? I would say a month is early. In my opinion, one month in. I said it in a month. I mean, I'm not dissing you. I, I still don't think that's, like, as bad as, like, three days. Like, I know there's people that say I love you, like, the day they started dating. I think that's crazy. But... 
you know, month two, three, three months in. I'd say like three to six months. I mean, if you both love each other and you both want to say it. You know, I, I don't really think it's that complicated. Kiki and Kimons for the sub. C. Tobin for the sub. Booty Hole, thank you for the fucking ten gifts again. Matt of Shadow the Turtle for the sub. Coffee for the sub. Lou and Jungle Frog for the sub. Gojo for the sub. Hobbler. Hobbler for the $10 donor to WWFW in the fucking chat. Can this go to monkeys? They are so cute. Uh, well, I don't think that you can choose where... <laughs> I don't think you can choose where the exact $10 goes to. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I also don't control that, so... <laughs> I mean, yes, monkeys are very cute. Uh, thank you for the $10 dono uh, to WWF. Dub in the chat for that. I appreciate that. But I don't know. I don't know if, there, if you could choose where the money goes necessarily. Uh, Dago for the five. I've never donated to a charity before, uh, but this is WS pick. Uh, w John, thanks for the content. Dub. Ospit for the sub. Uh, Dom for the three. And Oshiara for the three. Finally got a minimum wage job, so now I can give you 24K a year. Stop. Are you ever going to do a meet and greet? Uh, maybe at, like, a TwitchCon event or something like that, if I had, like, a table. Uh, but that would probably be it. Uh, X for the sub reel for the three. For homework, I have to write about whether or not teamwork's a good thing in terms of business. I want to know if you think what I wrote was good. The summary is that without humans, uh, we would be lonely, and that we as a, what do you mean without human? Oh, without other humans, we, we would be lonely. We as a society were built to be extroverted, and that without teamwork, we would have, ho we wouldn't have hospitals, lawyers, and other team sports. What does that have to do with business, though? I think business, you do need teamwork to a degree. But that also just... I would say go into the idea of specification of work. Uh, the whole idea of a society is that you get geared into doing one thing. Because that enables you to have, you know... Money and, and leisure time, right? If we as humans had to find our own fresh water source, cook our own food, hunt farm, find electricity, build homes, right? You would have no time for anything. But if you get really good at one thing, which is what we do in a society usually, you get one really good at one good two, th three things, right? You're an electrician, a plumber, a therapist, an artist. You get good at that and then you use that to make money and pay people to do the shit you don't know how to do. Person for the sub giraffe, for the sub burritos, for the fucking... Yo, chat, stop spamming WWF! Mods, please pin the link! Mods, please pin the link! I'm gonna freak the fuck out! Oh my god! Oh my fucking god, it's on a cooldown, dude. Oh, holy shit. Mots, I, Mots, please pin the link. Mots, skull, it's stonky, I just saw you ban somebody. Please pin the link, brother. Fuck. I'm gonna cry. The link doesn't work? It does. I tested it before I went live. It doesn't work because 500 people are fucking spamming it. Only I can use it. All right, try it now. <laughs> oh, fuck. I forgot to turn the bot on, too. Shit. 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 Fuck. All right, try it now. All right, now it works. All right, now it works. There we go. Woo! Fuck. Yeah, my bad, chat. Little Eljo Bart there. Forgot to, forgot to, forgot to public the, the command there. Awkward. Anyways. Anyways, you know, my bad. <laughs> forgot. How the hell did that kid donate if you couldn't even click the link? I don't even, what the fuck? How did, how did people already donate? Person for the sub, JZR for the sub. For the subs, Faritos for the one. Only you can use the command. I fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed it. My apologies, chat. There it is. Okay, now they're coming in. Big for the five, the WWF. First donor, I'm pursuing being a game warden as my career and love the cause. Uh, hope you have a great day, W stream. Dude, congrats uh, on, uh, fuck, not congrats. I mean, that's like you already fucking did it. Good luck is a better fucking word. I hope you become a game warden. I don't know how hard it is to become a game warden. Congrats on finding that that is your passion. Fuck. Hold up. Cracking this shit. Somebody said L stream. Buddy's username is I'm Batman. Yeah, we'll see you later, brother. We'll see you later, brother. Little Joe Bart salute in the chat him. Anyways, pet, uh, pesto for the sub, night for the sub. But anyways, you know, now that the command's working. Exclamation point WWF. Mods pin the link. Uh, you could fucking send money there. I'll read them as they come through. Anyways, a uh, little rundown of the videos that we got today. 
Um, why is your hand so greasy? What? My hand isn't greasy. Is my hand greasy? I mean, I have, like, these gross-ass calluses. My hand looks dry, dude. Like, what the fuck are, the fuck are you talking about greasy, bitch? I probably need lotion. Calico for the $25 dono to WWF. Dumb in the chat. Brody for the 10 to WWF. It says, me like animals. Pesto for the 7 nightly for the 1 to WWF. I like monkeys, too. Love you, Joe, not in a parasocial way. And WStream, also, you've helped me a lot with depression. I'm 13 years old, nearly killed myself a few nights ago. Uh, well, dude, if you're ever going through fucking something, please reach out. I watched you and I didn't want to anymore, so dub. I mean, I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, but suicide is never the answer, man. If you're ever going through something, reach out, find help, right? Even if you can't go, uh, like, directly to a therapist, you could go to somebody that can uh, aid you in some way, whether it be school counselor, parent, friend, family member, right? Somebody could step you, uh, put you in the right direction or help you themselves. Kate for the 25 to WWF. First time donating on any stream. Also, hello from Scotland. Hello. I'll take it for the 25, Kate. Anyways. Chat. Run down to the videos that we got today. Starting out, we have a trailer for a horror movie. Haven't watched a trailer in a bit. Speak No Evil. Came out a day ago. Already 5 million views. I'm pretty sure that's also like, is this like a popular book or something? I feel like Speak No Evil sounds familiar. Anyways. Next video after that. Uh, OF Star tries to identify her top donor. Uh, apparently, Moist Critical started making, like, cut-esque style videos. So I'm very excited to fucking see this shit. I'm already going to pre-like the video. Uh, 24 hours in the world's best first class. Record-breaking $68,000 ticket. Scorched by the Dumb Cane. Another Brave Wilderness video. I haven't done one of those in a while. Why so many porn stars... What a weird pause moment there. Why so many porn stars are dying... The Horror of Incel Gooners, Seven Craziest Survival Stories, Horror Movies That Are Actually Scary, and then a new Backrooms video just dropped. Clap it up. We'll end stream on it. New Backrooms video, everybody. I haven't gotten one in six months. Six months since the last one. New Backrooms video. Here it is. Kane Pixels. Oh my god, I'm not subbed to him. Awkward. Now I'm subbed. Mr. Man, thank you for the $10 dono. I want to see monkeys happy. Okay, well, I would also like to see monkeys happy. Thank you for the 10 to WWF. Naeem Mohammed for the 10 to WWF. Hope I said your name right. You are the boss, biggest boss. Thank you, Penny, for the 1316 to WWF. Says W Charity Stream. Jace for the 10 to WWF. Between philosophy and you just being the most entertaining streamer alive, you seriously changed my life for the better. Thank you. Fucking nice ass message. Zach Attack for the fucking raid. Days for the 5 to WWF. Says, thanks for all the W streams. Halo for the fucking 15 to WWF. Love the stream. I hope it goes well to going to a good cause. Riley for the 10 to... I'm just going to stop saying to WWF. I'm just going to say to the fucking dono, okay? I'll say it like every other one. Just because then I'm saying to WWF every time. Riley for the 10. That's to the charity. Have a donated to a stream. Uh, and glad I was able to be here uh, in yesterday's stream. Watch and love to see the content. Love you, Joe. Also, uh, W stream, W content. Thank you. Flute for the 5. Uh, for the King Kong's axe, for the subdominator, for the fucking hundred dollar dono dub in the fucking chat. Dub in the fucking chat. Dominator is a winner for the hundred dollar dono to WWF. Oh my god. They said, hey Joe, my card isn't supported with Tiltify, so here you go. That car crash was for a TV drama show. Oh fuck, you sent that to me. I'll, I'll send that. I usually do my dono. Fuck, I'll write that down so I remember. Hold up. I usually do my donation, like, midstream, just because I don't want to do it before, because then, like, we already hit one of the milestones. I will donate that, um, later this stream. Uh, remind me if I don't. Like, an hour or two in, I'll donate it. Uh, and then do, like, my little dono, too. Human, for the fucking 25 to, uh, WWF, says, for the panda, sir, for the five. What's the best essay you've ever written? Uh, I wrote a 15-page essay on morality, in the viewpoint of Friedrich Nietzsche contrasting it with uh, Buddhist uh, morals. I thought that was a very good paper I wrote. I compared and contrasted uh, and wrote my own logical uh, moral theory uh, through Friedrich Nietzsche's uh, genealogy of morals and beyond good and evil uh, with uh, Buddhism in the eyes of, who was it? The prominent Buddhist philosopher. I don't remember his name because I used multiple sources, but I mainly used him. 
Uh, I don't remember. I would have to look it up. I have the paper still. Lego for the sub, sir, for the five. Uh, Henry for the 10 to WWF. I feel like anybody who watches Joe uh, on Twitch only watches Joe nobody else. That's not true. Chat, what other streamers do you guys watch? I feel like a lot of my chatters watch Queso and Jinxie. Um, but, I mean, they're also just really big streamers. I'd be bad at Kibi, Real for the sub, Trip, and Bobby for the sub, TG, uh, or TJ for the 10. Can this go to the kitties? Cat pun. My cat got fined for littering. How did your cat got? How did your cat get fined? Control for the ten says help the buckies and crit for the ten. Just got my fifteen dollars of allowance. Thought I'd spend it on this dub. Well, thank you for the fucking donation to WWF. Put it towards a good cause. Marcus for the ten says much love from South Africa. Thank you. What time is it there? Brody for the hundred to WWF as well. Dub in the fucking chat there. Please tell them to give this to the monkeys. Dub in the chat there. Nightly for the fucking Ted therapist was just a dickhead. Didn't believe what I said. Also, monkeys uh, would be happy. I've always wanted a pet monkey. I don't think I would want a pet monkey just because I heard. I mean, it depends what monkey it was. But I, anybody hear the story about that chimp that clawed that woman's face off? Jay for the two. Big fan. Been watching for a while. Found my phone, which was really cool. Wanted to ask uh, what jobs I could do with criminology diploma. You're going to have to look into that, man. I'm not I'm not Google. I'm <laughs> criminology. I'm not a criminology major. Bizzle for the three. Google it. Uh, watching the new roller coaster video, wanted to share a story. My cousin got ejected off a pirate ship ride uh, and broke his leg, seven fingers, and a cheekbone. Did he sue? They were able to sue. I don't know all the details, but the company had to pay for all the medical care. Oh my god! Well, I mean, at least that's good. He's still recovering. It was eight months ago. Well, I hope you got fuck. And I hope your cousin got money out of it. Holy shit! Gave for the fucking ten to WWF. Thank you for the fucking donos there as well. Somebody redeem Daisy Showcase. Not doing that today. Refund it. We got a lot of shit we gotta get through here. We got a lot of shit we got to get through, and I know we're going to have a uh, longer time getting through stuff because I'm going to be reading more fucking charity donos. Refund the fuck out of that. I'm not doing Daisy Showcase. Anyways, what other streamers did you guys watch? I didn't even see your responses. Chat, please retype what streamers you watch because I want to know, and I didn't get to read them because I was reading donos. Olsen for the one, and Rastery for the one. I just turned 14. I'm applying for a job. Any advice for an interview? Be yourself. Fucking be confident, right? Say, I'd show how much you want the job and how much you're willing to work. Lauren for the 10. Love the WWF. Hope to get a stable career after college so I can contribute more. Thank you for the 10. And I hope that goes well. Gabe for the 10 to WWF. And TJ for the 10 to WWF. Once again for the kitties. Thank you. Zussi, Yusuf, Jinxie, Queso, Handsome. Only you. That's pretty fire. That's pretty fire. That's pretty fire. <laughs> That's pretty fire. You know, only me is a pretty good answer. Strawberry Tabby. Papalite, uh, Playboy Max. Ludwig. Ludwig's not a Twitch streamer. Ludwig's not a Twitch streamer there, buddy. Brooke? Brooke's not a streamer. Unless you mean another Brooke. D. Adrian Harding? Does he stream? Agent? Jake Weber? Nick A30? You're Nick A30, watcher? You're Nick A30? You're a casual Nick A30 viewer? What's a casual... What's a, like, what's like a regular stream in, in Nick A30's chat like? Prode for the five to WWF. Love your streams and videos. Keep it up. And Juni 8 for the six to WWF. Never donated to a stream or charity whatsoever. You're the only reason I downloaded Twitch and still constantly use it. You really helped me through the last year where I struggled with my mental health. You really cheered me up. Thank you. Well, thank you for the fucking six dollar dono and the nice ass message. Sorry you were struggling with your mental health, but I was I'm glad I was able to help in any way I was able to, and I hope you're doing better now. Hold up, let's see where we're at. We're at four hundred and ten dollars already. Alright, let's let's fucking lock in for a trailer here and then I'll read more donos. <laughs> Fuck. Messy for the three. Would you eat a messy piss Pringle? What the fuck is that? Xvit for the sub. Coop for the five. To, um, WWF. Who would win at a fight? An elephant or ten crocodiles? An elephant. Easily. I don't even think a crocodile could bite a full-size elephant. Honey for the 25 to WWF. What animal do you wish was domesticated so you could have them as a pet? I wish that, um... The miniature elephants that used to live on that one island in, I think, Asia still existed because I would love to have a mini elephant as a pet. That would be fucking sick. Michaela for the 20 uh, to WWF. Been watching for a long time. Never had the money to donate. Finally, for a good cause. You helped me so much. I appreciate what you do for your fans. Thank you, Prod. Prod, thank you for the fucking $1.76. Love the uh, the stream today. My favorite streamer slash YouTuber is probably Deadrian Harding. Amanda for the 25 to WWF says help the animals. Laura and Jules for the sub, Monty for the, uh, the 25 to WWF. Always been an animal lover. Currently have three bunnies, a dog, cat, and a bearded dragon. I almost got a bearded dragon when I was younger. Those are cool ass. What are they, lizards? 
I think they're lizards. Dominator for the one. Happy Gilmore 2 was just announced. That's like fucking 20 years later. Lukester for the 10 to WWF. You helped me with bullying and other family stuff, so thank you for getting me through that. You're such a dummy streamer. I'm sorry you have to deal with that shit, but I'm glad I was able to help Luke. Thank you for the 10 to WWF. Messy for the 3. Favorite horror movie slash game? Horror movie? I don't really have one. Um... <sighs> Not Cabin in the Woods. Where's the one where they go in a cabin? And, um... They, like, trip out, and they're, like, Irish people. Is it The Wretched? I don't know. Not The Thing. Oh, The Thing is my favorite horror movie, but that's, like, a thriller. Lucas for the 25 to, uh, to WWF. Apes Together, Strong DJ for the 10, uh, 15 to WWF. I already read that. Uh, Bullet for the sub, Mir for the 3. Can't... Bro, Mir, stop! Emmy for the 10. I'm not gonna read your donos, Mir. Emmy for the 10. Hi, Pookie. Joe Bear, what's your favorite food? Chicken wings. Tinted for the sub. J-Bowls for the 10. Uh, thanks for helping me when I was struggling mentally. Dog got diagnosed with lymphoma the other day. I'm sorry to hear that. I have cancer in the fucking chat. Going Friday to see what uh, stage it is. Watching this keeps me distracted. Well, I hope it's an early stage, and I hope it's treatable. Uh, also, I'm banned. My name... Oh, my God. I, 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 I might not unban you, depending on what it was, but I'm sorry you're dealing with that. The Ritual. Yeah, that was a good movie. Uh, you said womp womp to a dead baby. Uh, messy for the three. Uh, I'm not going to unban you. Evil for the 10 uh, to WWF. The original is so much better. Search it up. The name is way more scarier. W the original of what? Tinted for the sub. If you have any videos you want me to react to or games you want me to play, exclamation point discord, video slash tab, game slash tab. I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Send those there. Uh, but I am not looking into any other trailers today. We have to get into the actual reacts, which we have not today. Mir said it's fascist to deny my message. I don't want to read. It's not fascist. I'm not required to read your message if it's crazy. Music for the five. Second time donating. Uh, love your streams. All right. Next video. Lock in. Also, what are we at? I think it might be mini shield time. It is mini shield time. 597. I'm going to send my dono now. Just so then we can lock in for the reacts. Don't know. Hold up. Yeah. 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 Chat. What are the odds it works? What are the odds it works? Let's give a percentage chance here. About to hit me with an error. 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 Hold up. I knew I typed that shit wrong. Oh, I fucking hate this chat. I fucking hate this so much. Fucking God. Count me down 30 seconds and I fucking kill this. Watch. There it is. 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 That's not it. There it is. Hold up. Wrong one. Fuck. 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 Okay. We're locked in. We're locked in here, chat. Boom. Boom. Tell me it works. Tell me it works. Fingers crossed. Joe Bart for the $300 donut to Tiltify. Or not to Tiltify. What the fuck am I saying? To WWF. Oh my god. A hundred of that is from Dominator. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. DN for the sub. W don't know. I'm glad it worked. There was one time where it fucking didn't work. Now we're at 897. Let's rip this mini shield real quick. Almost halfway through the goal. We haven't even started fucking reacts yet. That was the Kratom one. Not trying to not trying to be geeking today. <laughs> Yo, Abby, for the fucking two to WWF. As an animal care student, I'm extremely happy you chose this charity. Uh, w Charity W Streamer. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, dude, I hope that uh, goes well being uh, an animal care student. Music for the two. I uh, already read that. Okay. Lock in here, chat. After I rip this open. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Okay. Okay. Somebody said you're an alcoholic. This isn't alcohol. This isn't alcohol, buddy. Grace for the sub. I need it! Ah! I can't get it open. Motherfucker. I cave. I bring out the trusty tool. Never fails. There it is. That's simple. God, it really just makes you really just makes you seem weak, right? Tools. Tools are wonderful, right? The old multi-tool. Any other guys in my chat get gifted 45 multi-tools over the last three years? From the ages of like 10 to now, I think I got fucking, I've, I've gotten gifted 50 multi-tools. How old are you? I turned 22 in February. Grace for the sub, Trevor for the 10. Uh, to WWF, animals are a dub, dub. All right, lock in. OF Star tries to identify her top donor. Welcome back to the other channel. We're joined by one of the internet's most successful models, Jenna Lynn Meowry. And we've flown out her top only- I don't know who that is. Jenna Lynn Meowry. Should we look up her income? You think that would show up? Jenna Lynn- Yeah, I gotta be full screen for this. Jenna Lynn Meowry income. She's 22 and her net worth's $5 million. Damn, has she been doing that for like a year, dude? Matilda, for the 25 to WWF, there are only northern white rhino. There are only two northern white rhinos left on the earth and both are female. Wow. Is there anything they could do, though, with like uh, bone marrow or something to try and fucking figure it out? Probably not. Goes for the five. Just got back from the City Morgue concert. Do you like them? I don't, I don't even know what that... Is that a band? That one guy for the 100 to WWF. Let, uh, let help, let's help those animals. I have four dogs, six cats, two goats, and a bearded dragon. Does everybody have a bearded dragon? Thank you for the fucking 100 to WWF. Top in the chat for that. And Aaliyah for the 135. Got my wisdom teeth removed. My mom kept asking to watch Joe. Oh, said I kept asking to watch Joe. What, while you were hallucinating? While you were, tr while you were tripping balls off that laughy gas? Thank you for the 100, that one guy. Thank you for the fucking 135, Aaliyah. Lock in. OnlyFans donator who's hiding amongst four liars. It's going to be our mission to figure out who the top donator is out of this lineup. Okay, so four of them aren't even subscribed to her. Wait, no. Four of them are sub to her? Four liars. Flown out her top OnlyFans donator who's hiding amongst four liars. Okay, so four of them are probably not even subscribed to her. Liars. It's going to be our mission to figure out who the top donator is out of this lineup. And I think it's going to be quite a cutthroat competition. We have a special prize if he fools us, but I don't think he will. That guy. That guy, number two. Spotted him. Spotted him. Number two. Right there. Number 28's kind of kind of got me sketched out a little bit. Why is he standing so far away? Why is he standing so far away from everybody? Maybe number... I'm thinking number two, number 28. Number one might be a sleeper. Crypto whale. Crypto whale vibes. He got those shoes on. That means he's rich, right? If they're a number one donator... I mean, do you think we're going to get any info on how much they spend per month? Number one OnlyFans donators probably drop in tens of thousands per month. If she's like a prominent OnlyFans model... Well, I'm, I'm nothing gets by me. I'm a rock. I'm a fucking animal. Gentlemen, welcome to the Thunderdome. Great to have you here. This is already going better than I expected. I thought it could be dangerous. Or I thought this would be like chumming the water and a shark like lunging over the table like a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare. That's why I'm here. Yeah, way to be on your best behavior. You're doing a great job. Whoever looks the most nervous. Why is this guy 35 feet away from everybody? Step a little closer, pal. Got those dirty ass new balances on. I'd like each of you to kind of like step up one by one. So two, you come up first. Let me get a look at you. Like, give me a little spin. <laughs> <laughs> you excited? Oh yeah. Are you excited because you're in front of your queen, perhaps? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Interesting. No. All right. Oh, next. so they're all gonna act like they're not them. I thought they were all going to act like they were the number one donator. I think they're all going to act like they're not, and they have to spot the one that's lying. 
Very nice. Okay, give me a little spin. <laughs> <laughs> How much did that tattoo cost? Uh, around $800. Mm, he comes from a lot of money, though. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> that's an $800 tattoo? I feel like that's cheap for a fucking half arm sleeve. Dude, a half arm sleeve could be like fucking two G's if you got it like like very well detailed. Mm, he comes from a lot of money, though. Interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right, eleven. Oh, I guess I'll do the spin then. <laughs> hey, tough guy. How does this make? It's not you him. Feel? He's too confident. It's gonna be somebody that's quiet, somebody that's quiet and reclusive, perhaps. Maybe not. I don't know. Maybe they're just really rich. You got ripped off. I I could get a tattoo for three dollars. You kinkin? I bet you got a doodle bob tattoo on like your fucking upper back. Shut the fuck up. You talking about? Oh, I got ripped off. <laughs> a little, a little shy. A little nervous. Are you are you titty or an ass guy? I feel like that gives away too much. It's round one. You know, let's relax. Let's relax. It's him. Oh my god! I don't know. The guy in the back, though, he ain't even making eye contact. That motherfucker's staring at the ground. He's sitting there like, relax, relax. Relax, relax. That'll be all. Step back. <laughs> all right, one. He's dying to do the spin. Give me a little spin. Oh! They're coming in with confidence. Please don't make any comments about my backside. I've been told I need to do squats, so. Interesting observation on the different colored laces. What's the deal with that? These are uh, Nike Chicago Splits Dunk Lows. Nike Chicago Split Dunks? Why is he, why is he doing that with his hands? Oh, you're a sneaker head. Those are not cheap. He's a sneaker guy. Do you like sneakers so much because you like feet? Mm. Um, what about the foot? But there's just so much to adore. So okay. like if you're, imagine my hand's a foot for a second here, these are the toes, obviously. I'd really rather not. <laughs> Your hand makes it easy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's the arch. It's yep. the soles. It's oh. the arch. Okay. The arch, the arch wow. in the foot? All right, foot fetish, please step back. <laughs> 28. So you like cosplay? I do. Yeah. Okay. What's your favorite cosplay? Actually, a little bit of everything, honestly. What's your favorite cosplay that I've done? That's a hard-hitting question. question. He's too obvious. He's too obvious. He's too obvious. So shy, standing away from everyone else, and like like hobbles forward. Oh, it's it can't be him, bro. It can't be him. It, you think it's him, but it's not, because they're gonna they cast the people. Moist Critical probably cast the other guys. Kind of everything, honestly. That's a cop out. <laughs> I told you a little bit of everything. Uh huh. She's, she's hitting hard. Yeah, he's he's playing the game well right now. Uh -huh. I love your tattoos, Chai. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Do you have any ink of your own? No, I'm thinking about getting a cross on my back in the next week or two. Okay, so tattoo lover. I like this approach of sucking up to Charlie <laughs> after getting grilled. But I love your coat too, oh, man. Oh, thank you. Yeah. All right, he almost like, don't you model, man? I think I've seen you on Calvin Klein. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> So 28 goes to round two. Yeah, 28 to shoe in for round two. That's kind of what I'm thinking. You know, I kind of want to ask them all what. Just ignoring the OnlyFans girl in the middle. Your muscles are looking really big, Charlie. Favorite cosplay of mine <laughs> is. I think you did a pretty good cami uh, okay. last year. Okay. Uh, I like the Spider Woman. Okay. Uh, the, the shy guy, because it was funny. And I have oh, a so they all do know her. And they're saying their favorite cosplay of her. Brennan, that's the most closed answer. She that I cosplayed a shy guy. How do you cosplay a shy guy from fucking Mario? He's wearing a full like that's not. How is that a sexual OnlyFans thing? He's wearing a full cloak. You can't see him. Like you wouldn't even know it's her. You would wear a mask and a fucking hood and a full head to toe. Shy guy? <laughs> what the fuck? Why is that his favorite, too? Paint on the beard? You'd be surprised. Addison for the 25 to WWF. Dolphins get high off Pufferfish. I did know that. Parker for the three. Uh, one turn for the thousand biddies. Sorry, uh, I can't donate. I already had this loaded. That's fine. 
Uh, I'm not very happy with you because you hate on Chihuahuas so much, bro. Because they're the ugliest fucking dogs. Little chess for the five. What's your opinion on spiders? Uh, they're they're creepy. Look at the 2024 clips in your channel. I'm not looking at that right now. Avery for the ten. Uh, sorry, I just got so much shit I gotta do right now. Like, we have to get through these videos, and we're one video in, almost an hour into stream, and we're three minutes into the video. Avery for the 10. Uh, I had to bury one of my uh, crested geckos today. My brother was messing with her, but I have two cats and one crested gecko. Uh, the cat's names are Buggy and Fatty. Not for the subcarbon, for the 175. Just got an A on my math test. Wanted to say thanks for making my day better uh, whenever you stream. Mirror for the 3. How do I donate to WWF? Exclamation point WWF. Loving for the sub Aaliyah for the, uh, for the 1 and Addison. I already read that. I can give right now. So. <laughs> hey, how you doing? Okay, one. Uh, I think for the meme, it's got to be the lusty Argonian maid. Okay, all right, that's an OG one. Twenty-eight. Shy guy. What? Shy guy. <laughs> nah, he's nah, he's playing it up. He's playing it up. I think he didn't. I think he didn't shape his beard for like two weeks before this purposefully. Yo, he's doing it on purpose. Oh my god. He's fucking up his posture. He like he like roughed his beard up, trying to look like he's like hasn't showered in a little bit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're not talking about you though, right? No, no. <laughs> so I think what's happening. Shy guy cosplay. I gotta Google this. Bro, dead ass. Bro. Bro, motherfucker's really making shy guy like a like a sexual cosplay. How the wh who even thought of me? Who even thought of hey, I want to cosplay as fucking shy guy? Why? Like that's such a ra he's not even like an important Mario character. That's just such a, such a random choice. Thing I think twenty eight is taking answers from the others. Yeah. <laughs> what was your vote? I think 28 is the most obvious yeah. out of the group. Could, if we vote you out, will you come give us one more compliment? <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> All right, sorry, 28, if you would like to just go stand with Danny. It's a cutthroat I competition. think it's two. It is, not everybody can win. I'm Charlie's. sticking I'm sticking with my initial guess. Start us off with a heater here now in round two with all our survivors. I'll, we'll do a little group activity here. I'm of the belief that if you're going to be a top donator to an OnlyFans model, you're probably not like super smooth like of, in and of your own volition. Uh, yeah, pickup line. Yeah, so if all of you will come up one by one. So no pickup line here? I don't really have one. I wanna hear one. Come up with Bro, one. Bro, she's eating a banana, dog. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. <laughs> you're kidding me. <laughs> in front of she that was a that this is a strategy of hers. She's eating a banana in front of her top OnlyFans donator. Thank you, man. This is top. Like, hey, how you doing? I like your tattoos. Hey, thanks so much, Marcus. Uh, nice to meet you. Okay, yeah, nice to meet you as well. What what can I help you with? Well, I was just admiring your tattoo. <laughs> oh my God, you, this guy's fucking sweet. All right, all right, you can buy me a drink, I guess. Oh my God, <laughs> something's wrong with my phone. I. I I'm in the seas, and your number's not there. And it's gonna stay that way, creep. Oh my god. Oh my god. How do you already know your name That's started with a C? Yeah, you stalked me. <laughs> this is a stalker, clearly. You didn't know me beforehand. <laughs> you know what's, that hand, he's got some ribs in him. I, I see it. I, uh, are you a fruit? Because honeydew, you know how fine you look. Wow. That's... that's <laughs> It's going right in the stinker's pile for me, bub. I have a good question. All right, Run it. let it rip. What's my favorite animal? <sighs> See you guys. Oh, yep. <laughs> this should weed them out. Yeah, that's, that's... Her favorite animal. Why wouldn't they lie? I'm confused. They're voting out. Are they voting out who they think it, it's not? Because if you're trying, if you're the OnlyFans guy and you're trying to stay hidden, that's a stupid fucking question of hers. I'm not trying to be mean, but like, if they're trying to figure out who the OnlyFans guy is, and 
they're trying to stay hidden, they just lie. Like, say her favorite animal is a dog. They just say, uh, mouse. I don't know. Right? I guess the dog, Kiwi, or the legal name, the Christian name. Okay. What about you, you too? Seals. Okay. What about you, 49? I'll go with birds. One? Uh, the cat, Coco. Oh, okay. You know his name. Okay, that just that just threw a monkey wrench into my noodle. <laughs> it's either two, bro. I swear to God, it's either two or one. I'm ready to vote one out. Which one would you vote out here? This is all on you. Uh, 49. You, you don't like you don't like you don't like birds. <laughs> they're just they're not my favorite, and I don't even own one. All right, that was a great question. We could have skipped the other eight. So yes, yeah, 49. I'm sorry, but you are out. The council has spoken. Uh, so this is now round three. We're going to eliminate one more contestant. One quick reminder, if the donor gets out before the end, they're the winner. If we pick correctly, we win. All I've got to say is- See? What? What? If the donor gets out before the end, they're the winner. So, I'ma just be- Oh, what's my favorite animal? I don't know, a fucking raccoon? I don't- <laughs> A fucking kangaroo. I don't know. Like, just just make shit up. Why why are they trying to to guess this correctly? I can understand it, the guys that are guessing it right. Or the guys that know their shit are probably the the ones that are fake. Like the guy that said, "Oh, your cat Coco," it's not him, because he's trying to stay in. If I'm trying to get out, I'm just gonna fuck up. Things are about to get intense. Very, okay, very intense. Very you might have thought we were comfortable now. Well, we were. Don't get comfortable. <laughs> yeah, you're not friends anymore. You're enemies. We're brothers. They're not now. allowed to lie? Okay. Don't, don't take my boys away from me. <laughs> I hope, by the way, that you boys are hungry. Um, because we have a special surprise. And we also hope you're not lactose intolerant. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I'd hope you'd like dairy. <laughs> <laughs> Number 11 turned away from that. He shot. You turned oh, away. Oh, yeah. It's the girlfriend's. Write it down. Uh, write, that, it. write that down. Oh, write that down. Number 11 hates boobs. <laughs> and Very telling. women. Yep. Okay, two. What is your biggest fantasy involving me? And tell me in great detail. <laughs> in great detail. Great detail. Make eye contact. I really like wrestling. I'll, I'll, I'll give you a landscape. You're at the Moist Wrestling League Arena. Yep. Your opponent is Jenna Lynn Meowry. What are you doing? We're oiled up. Uh, I mean, wrestle, clothe, maybe. Slowly start, you know, ripping each other's clothes off. Charlie's got the count. He doesn't know wrestling at all. Fucking hits her with a break. <laughs> it's sexy wrestling. Can you shut up, man? Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to actually win a wrestling match here. Fucking power bombs <laughs> through a table. Nah, like yo, it. nah, I feel like it's not him. Maybe it's just because he's shy. Dude, I'm thinking, I'm thinking the number one OnlyFans model, or the number one OnlyFans donator has put some thought into this. Like, number one's about to set up. Like, I'm telling you, number one's about to step up to the plate and be like, at 5.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are going to go to my favorite pizzeria. Donnie's, Donnie's Slices. I'm going to get extra pizza grease. And we're going to eat the pizza. In booth four, right? Like, like they're gonna be like, fucking. It's gonna be like exact. Like they've taught, they've thought about this so much. Two, step back. All right, eleven. Hope yeah. your girlfriend isn't watching. <laughs> girlfriend skipped this time. I know the editor. He'll hook me up. Picture this: white shirt. All right. Wow, Blue. Sexy. Uh, green bodysuit. That's you, not me. Green bodysuit? Like the Halloween morph suit? <laughs> that, that, that I, one of those ones when you were going trick-or-treating? Like where you're just like a fucking straight-up green guy and you can't even see their, their entire fucking body? You have no idea who they are? Um, we go to Fairfield, it's after a show, and for some reason, like, there's not even words, right? Not, not even words, it's just a look and then embrace wall because i'm strong you know uh we just oh, we know we know coles rip it all off clothes trailing from the door and then you know we just go for like three hours first wow. first bump too who are yeah. you trying to impress me my <laughs> girlfriend <laughs> do you write erotica three hours here i'm like jay-z but uh smut 
That guy, this guy's got a talent. He did paint a picture. I want to rewind a little bit. Why is she in a green bodysuit? Who's that green guy from Zelda? Are you talking about Tingle? Oh, yeah. Tingle, Tingle yeah. I feel like we're going to... That's what he wants her to wear. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, what the fuck is that? Wait, who, is he like an elf? Because that's what I was picturing <laughs> the whole time. I saw Tiny Tingle as a cradle. I'm your Tiny Tingle. You give me Tiny Tingles, baby. Step Super. back. <laughs> Two step back forward. I want you to give me your best impression of me. Dude, my best impression of you. Bro, we skipped one. It's him, dude. It's him. It's him. Like a, I can't do it. You go like, I don't know. You do like that, ooh, face. <laughs> okay. I'm fucking terrible at it. I kind of feel like there's two of you in here right now. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> All right. All right. Step back. Eleven. Wow. Wait here. He, oh from, my from champion. Department. Thank you, Danny. He's Which, way too confident for this. Sorry. Sorry. I got it. the costume. Yeah. I got oh God, is he taking a shit? Can you give me more cleavage? Maybe I'll see it. Yeah, for sure. All right. Sorry. Sorry. Wow. <laughs> is this, do is you this like your this? Final no, answer? that's hilarious. I feel like I've gone too far. <laughs> no, I feel like you went the perfect amount. That you really dove head first in that one. I, I, I've no. To many that may have seemed unhelpful, but that really, I now know. Where you kind of do this like little New York accent kind of thing that you get going on. That's new, that's because I have a sore throat. <laughs> uh, but he's saying that now. Yeah, and this is a new thing. It was actually a psyop, and you got caught. What are you talking about? It's okay. Step back. Step back. <laughs> I don't know what to believe anymore. The yogurt will tell the truth. Him getting offended makes me think it's him more. Do you think it's time? I think it's one or two. It's not the metal guy. There's like literally no shot it's the metal Start, guy. Break the glass, I think bring I, the big gun. I think I know where I am here. A little room for Jesus, as they say. <laughs> How do you feel about yogurt? Oh, stop. I love yogurt. Oh, stop. How much do you like yogurt? It's not. A lot. Oikos? Triple zero? Get on your knees. Ah, <laughs> uh, say uh. Uh. There you go. <laughs> I thought you liked yogurt. Why is all this yogurt left? Is she feeling his heartbeat? <laughs> wow, she just tested his fucking heart rate. Nah, that's actually a crazy play, though. That's actually, that was cringy as fuck, but that's a crazy play. Because if it's him, he would be fucking racing. Buddy. How do you feel about it? Uh, I feel like Savannah should skip to this time code. <laughs> Savannah. Don't say names. You're going to make me jealous. <laughs> How do you like yogurt? Oh, my God. Maybe it yeah, is him. Fan. It looks big like fan. he's nervous. How are you eating your yogurt? With a spoon. On your knees? Well, uh, sure, yeah. I, <laughs> depends on the time of day, I guess. Say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. No. <laughs> <laughs> Say ah. Oh, uh. Mmm. Yogurt. I think I'm good. <laughs> I think I'm satiated. That was, uh, that was good. <laughs> He's going to stand up and be like, I'm not the donor. See you guys. <laughs> Give him one. <laughs> <laughs> We're not forcing I, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go return some videotapes. Oh, is that so? Is this key lime? <laughs> not my favorite. More of, a, favorite. more of a more of a honey and cream kind of guy. Honey and cream. With emphasis on the cream. Yeah. He's back <laughs> in it, baby. <laughs> he looks so nervous. <laughs> ah. Whoa. Look at that, all clean. Hey, great. Hey, clean, clean play, play club. club. Great work, boys. Great work. Yeah. Kind, of, kind of what I'm thinking? Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. All right, you want to let them know? 11, he's been voted off. <sighs> yeah, Please definitely wasn't him. Dude, his confidence, his confidence was too much. And head to the dock. Oh my gosh, a 20. <laughs> Shit, <laughs> 20 I didn't mean to... Oh, a $20 bill? Oh, if only... Sorry, I, I don't want to have to offer this to the OnlyFans model that makes $5 million a year. No. Oh, I mean, if this was deciding factor, I'd... Stop, I'll jump over this table right now. <laughs> we knew from the beginning this is where we were going to end up. I told you. I had a very strong suspicion, and I th know who it is Yo, based on... did they on... use the same spoon? Somebody said same spoon. Did they use same spoon for everybody? No, they didn't. 
No, they didn't. They got a different spoon. The spoon evidence here. I feel like one of them was black. Forensics. Uh huh. Uh huh. You, you play your game. I'm okay, over here. Okay, okay. I have two more questions. Yeah, two more questions. How do you feel about pegging? Maybe if I was in a relationship with someone. I thought you are in a relationship with yeah. somebody. I mean, like, I'm in a relationship, but like deep into a relationship with someone. What about you? Oh, 100 percent. And 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 I'll tell you why. They're just people who. They're just guys who've never experienced it. Well, okay, so he's saying he has experienced it. Oh my god, these two are like way too, way too close though. Like I can't determine who it would be. Become your top. It's donor? Def One. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that gives it away because they both said they were down. New relationship with someone. What about you? Oh, hundred percent. And 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 I'll my whole chat saying it's one. They're just people who. They're just guys who've never experienced it. Yeah, well, more they both His shoes. He has more red. Red. I think what might be very much in the realm of possibility is they both donate to you, but one of them donates more. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a crazy one we haven't tried. Number two, are you the top donator to Jenna Lynn Meowry? <laughs> no. Number one, are you the top donator to Jenna Lynn Meowry? No. I'm stumped. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess this video is just ending in a failure. Okay, you guys can go home. All right, all right. I just say across OnlyFans, how much money would you say you've donated? Total, since like OnlyFans like took off during COVID, probably just shy of about 10 grand. Okay. No shot, no shot, that's the top dono. Just shy of 10K. I don't want to say, I mean, that's a lot of money, but I, I've, seen, I've seen videos where guys were donating fucking 50k chat like y'all are saying nah i was expecting the top donator in this video to be like somebody that's given like 50 grand this guy's about to hit us with like a million two maybe four or five grand total cap. i think cap do we want to they're both capping do you guys feel like you can confidently say she knows how much they've donated is? his heartbeat was going really fast crazy. and he knew because I said favorite animals, and he said seals, and he said my cat. You know, so but we, some, someone that I feel like actually consumes my content would say seals. Would know it's seals. Would you like to tell yeah. the person who's leaving us? Do the honors. Get out of here. The one you're leaving. It's been a pleasure. It's been a great time. Yeah. <laughs> they need to interview so this that, guy. Now that we've picked our one, will the real top donor please step forward? Oh, shocker. Hey. I fucking called it. I fucking called it. Five seconds in. Five seconds. Not five seconds. 20 seconds in. The way he was staring at the ground, dude, when they pulled up. A cutthroat competition. We have a special prize if he fools us, but I don't think he will. Look at him, that blank stare. He's like nervous. It's been a pleasure. It's been a great time. <laughs> So now that now that we picked our somebody said pre-watch, I didn't fucking pre-watch chat. One, well the real wise bro proud because I like guessing things correctly. Real top donor, please step forward. Hey, hey! let's go, let's go. That was you guys were good. Yeah, you actually. You were giving me. You called it and changed your mind like ten fucking times. Okay, Brandello. Okay, okay, Brandello. Oh, I changed my mind 45 times, but my first guess was the right one. Run for my money for a second. You almost flipped it at the end. So the fact he knew the last year going in made thing, I was like, oh, that's an OG. That's an OG one. That, I don't even was... know if I have pictures of that on my Instagram anymore. You, you, you do. I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> you do. I tried to pick the most obscure. You're smart. Part You're smart. Okay, so all your answers today just came straight from research. I wasn't aware of who you were until. <laughs> I walked into the green room, uh -huh. and then I sat down and harassed Corey for information, and uh, <laughs> then I literally, everything that I said was pulled directly from what was available to me. When we were on our break, I told Corey I was going to subscribe to your OnlyFans, <laughs> just, just, to, just to win. No. We know your birthday, by the way. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, we, we, uh, we did a deep dive on yeah, it. Whole war room. We put it on the yeah, TV in there. TV. <laughs> we, we Dude, they were doing research. Like, they were analysts. I mean, that's what you want when you do these types of videos, though, because you want to make it harder for them to win. Fine. 
Are you actually in a relationship, or was that one of the to throw us off? No, things? I had to lie because the rest of them were. That was one. That's of, smart. That's know, smart. It fell apart right there at the end because I was like, okay, it might not be him. I want. I'm curious. What username do you go by? Okay, yeah, I know you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's fun. that's so sweet. That is yeah, actually very sweet. <laughs> He's actually really funny. He makes really good yeah. beams. Perfect. Well, well, thank you so much. Yeah. Or, but do you think do you think she's interacting with him? Because a lot of OnlyFans models have other people that act like them and message the the people for like private shit. Like, I don't know if she's ever actually fucking interacted with this guy. I mean, if he's the top donator, though, maybe they've done like she's done like a a video for him. Like, he may have paid fucking a grand to get her to, like, send him a video. The cookie for the one. Have you seen the, uh, the new season of Invincible? No, I haven't even seen the first season. Titan and laugh for the sub. BSY for the sub. Definitely for the five. WWF. Thank you for doing charity streams. Sorry, I can't donate much. Don't apologize. It's Craig for the sub. Mars for the three. Would you rather have a cat or a chihuahua? Probably a cat. For the five, uh, hey man, love your streams. Keep it up. Pender and Loriella for the sub. TV uh, DJ for the one. Will you buy a full-size goose costume? Uh, I mean, I, maybe. Drew for the fucking 10 to WWF. Wanted to say love the stream. Asia for the 10 to WWF. Been watching your stream for every year. 800 hours uh, on your streams. Keep up the great work. Well, thank you. NY and BR for the sub. Uh, Addison for the 25. All right. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank yeah. you, and thank you for partaking in this game with us. That was good. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much, I had man. a lot of fun. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you'd like to check out more of my content, I'm at Jenna Lim Yowry on pretty much everywhere. I you think that's a real name? No. I mean, they got to do that for safety reasons, too, just because of stalkers and shit. Why is she so gender? I think that's a wig. It might not be. I don't know. It looks like a wig. All right, chat, I got to piss real quick, and then we're going to hop into the next one. Hey, hell me down 30 seconds. Wait, hold up. Chat fire song. I gotta, I gotta just show the intro. Listen. 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 Bro did not wash his hands. No, the fuck I did not. It's my own house. Fire. All right. Lock in. Next video. 24 hours in the world's best first class. Record breaking. $68,000 ticket. Finding the top. Also, wait, let's check where we're at dono wise. We are at $1,110 today alone. Dub in the fucking chat. We already unlocked the extra YouTube video for the week. We already did the mini shield. I actually got to put this back. Um. What day do you guys want the extra YouTube video? Monday or Thursday? I'm seeing more Mondays. All right, we'll do Monday. I might do an extra gaming on Thursday. I don't know for sure, though. But that'll just not even be from the charity stream. That'll just be an extra. All right, we'll do Monday. I'm already uploading today. I'm uploading today on the main, Sunday on the main, Monday and Tuesday on the main, Wednesday on the gaming, and then I'm probably going to do an extra upload on the gaming. I don't know if I'm going to do an extra upload this Saturday on the gaming, but I'm going to do an extra upload next week on the gaming as well. All right. Lock in. 24 hours in the world's best first class.
For the next 24 hours, I'm flying in the top two airplane seats in the world's best first class that normally comes at a record-breaking ticket price. But as you'll see later, I found a way to get it for much cheaper. And now boarding the first flight, start the 24-hour timer. Hello. Hello, welcome. How are you? Good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Give you champagne before the fucking flight even takes off? Yeah, call me Mr. Richie Rich. That shit's crazy. Very important flight. This is the most expensive seat. This is, like, not that big, though. I mean, it's a nice-ass seat, but holy shit. Yo, do, on these flights that are, like, fucking 16 hours, do they have seats that are just, like, coach? That would blow. The longest flight I've ever... What's the longest flight y'all have ever taken? I've been on, like, a, I think, like, a six-hour flight. Anything over, like, fucking 12 hours, though... In an upright 90 degree seat with no leg room. Oh god, they pro oh my god, dude. Imagine flying from like New York to Australia on like a fucking shitty spirit fucking seat. Just 90 degrees the whole time. No headrest. Oh. That would be torture. I would be walking up and down the aisle and shit. I'd be taking a dump every 10 minutes. I did that. How was it? I would never, I would not be able to do that. That would be awful. I never understand the idea of upgrading your plane seats, but if I was flying that far, I think I would, I would look at the prices. People that buy first class tickets for like a three hour flight are fucking stupid. Or just obscenely rich. One of the two. Probably both. But if I was flying like a 24 hour flight or 20 hour flight, I could understand somebody upgrading to like, uh, even not even a first class, but just like a mid tier seat where you could lay down. Cole for the three. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday. Wanted to give a couple bucks to donate. Uh, say love to the streams. Keep up the grind. Thank you. Are all the way to the back and two showers. It's before. like a small <laughs> town on a plane. Well, so, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to see one of two, which is on the world's largest passenger plane of the A380. With having over two floors of over 550 passengers, however, surprisingly, only 14 first class suites, meaning their first class cabin is absolutely enormous. With there also not being any overhead bins, as each suite has plenty of storage space just to put your stuff right in front of you, as the seat is a literal cocoon in the sky. With having just about anything you would like. For example, over here, having a full-on mini bar of just about any drink you can think of to in this drink. Any drink I could think of. Perrier and Evian water. Yeah, that really got every drink I could think of at that fucking boof-ass mini bar. The fuck? They literally, every drink I could think of. What is this? There's just something in like, is that like moonshine in a fucking mason jar? What the fuck is that? You could probably order any drink. Drink you can think of. That's dead ass. There's only Perrier and fucking Evian. To in this drawer having a notebook and pen. Or right above that, a clickable vanity mirror. I'm stealing that shit. I'm taking those towelettes. I'm going to be doing that shit that motherfuckers do at hotels. Where they take all the miniature soaps and shit. Oh, I'm going to be taking everything from this flight. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be bringing that towel at home. With different types of creams and perfumes. To the most luxurious amenity kit you can find in any aircraft. You think they get... Total value, 1,977. What? How is this? These four things are worth 1,400. Oh, you get $349 of cologne. And you get a bul a bul Bulgari bag. Do you get to keep it? That's actually sick. Costing thousands of dollars for all this stuff. And right next to that, a pretty luxurious snack basket to, of course, this sweet... That looks like fucking pills. Those are not snacks. Oh, maybe those are mini M&Ms. Good to, of course, this suite having a closable door offering privacy. However, as we take off from the ground here in Bangkok, it's officially time to start our journey to Dubai and onwards all the way to Brussels. And without question, the thing I'm most excited for in these 24 hours is the food. As Emirates menu is 15 pages long, and we'll be having a total of five meals on these flights, starting with dinner with our first course of a $300 portion of caviar, which was out. Caviar is the biggest overrated rich people food ever. It's it doesn't even come close. Just because it, 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 it any any fucking oh expensive restaurant expensive blank video I've ever seen caviar. Cav that's all it is. Fucking stupid fish eggs, right? Yeah, yeah, it's great, right? Oh my god, I bet they taste amazing. Like I've had shitty caviar before. I've had fish eggs before. This is like that fucking expensive shit. But dude's just eating caviar on a fucking roll with what looks like cream cheese. Like, that can't taste. 
that is not three hundred dollars, right? I understand. Obviously, you're paying for like the food being rare and expensive, but if I'm paying three hundred dollars for like a sandwich, that sandwich should be bounds above anything I've ever eaten. I guarantee you, if I ate that and then ate like a Whopper, and that's that's a mid tier burger. I, like I'm not even a big fan of that char grilled Whopper they got cooking up at B BK, right? But I think I'd probably rather take a fucking BK Whopper than this shit. Of this world. Or a fucking Wendy's Baconator. Good. Would you like some more caviar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, oh, why not? Yeah. yeah, sure, why not? Dude, I'm just gonna be selecting off that wine menu. I'm gonna be just- if, if I'm getting everything for free after the ticket, I'm just grabbing the most expensive fucking liquor they have. Caviar for you. Enjoy. That's my problem when I go to a, I, I've been to an all-inclusive resort twice. And my problem is like I I keep saying in my head, I need to get my money's worth. And so if I go to an all-inclusive resort, I'll gain like five pounds. I'll just make myself eat so much. <laughs> and like fucking just drink so many expensive mixed drinks as possible. Just so I'm like, okay, you know, I ran them for their money. Same thing at, like, a buffet. If I spend, like, $30 on a buffet, I'm going to try and at least eat what I believe is $30 worth of food. Because buffets make money from you eating less than what you spent. Is there anything else I can do for you for now? Um, oh my gosh. We officially have the best flight attendant of all time. And although the second course was amazing, the real star of the show is the main course of a traditional Emirati dish of prawn matcha. Are you ready for something sweet now? Yes. Okay, for the dessert? Sure. Do you go from the list down? Why not? Okay. Yeah. And for the next course, we officially start the dessert of the beautiful peach crumble. I mean, come on. This is not 24 hours in world's best first class. No, no, no. This is 24 hours in heaven. Now, next salted caramel. Okay. Is this man just gonna eat the entire video? <laughs> Why not? Can I recommend dessert wine? Maybe for your dessert? Sure, yeah, yeah that'd be perfect. great. Yeah. The most expensive you have on board. Oh, really? $502 a bottle. Yeah, keep that shit coming. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking finish there. I'm gonna finish all that shit. Thank you so much. <laughs> In front of us for our next course, we have the salt. I'm gonna skull it too. Just absolutely, that that flight attendant's gonna pour me, pour me a fucking five hundred dollar glass of wine. Well, it's five hundred dollars a bottle. Fucking one hundred and fifty dollar glass of wine. I'm gonna go. Another one, please. Just not even, not even smell it, not swirl it. Just fucking down that bitch. Yeah, give me another one. Just ruin it. Caramel cheesecake. I've flown a few Emirates flights in my life. This is by far the best I have ever flown. I'm, I mean, I'm literally being. Yeah. I would not want a fucking charcuterie board. Offered to try the entire menu, which I will readily do, since this is a record-breaking ticket price. Chocolate time. Oh my gosh! Wow. So I think you should take a few of these. <laughs> <laughs> a few of them. Of course, why not? You need to try. Then you tell me which one is the best. Mine is too short, eh? <laughs> so true. Where have I ever been so happy? On an airplane. And being in only hour four, this is just the start. As like I mentioned before, this plane is like a small town. With at the back of the second floor having what they call a bar, but what feels like so much more. Hello, how are you? Good, how are you? Amazing, thank you. Amazing. Do you guys have any like special drinks here? Well, I'm a Russian, so I like black berries. Give me a couple of beans. Thank you. you imagine pulling up to the fucking bar at a $60,000 plane seat and asking for like a Miller Lite. Oh, hello, sir. What would you like to drink? Do you guys have Mick Ultras? Do you guys have a White Claw? Could you rip a White Claw open for me? This plane is unbelievable. It's the only way you can describe I wouldn't want to drink alcohol on a plane. Yeah, that would probably be really unenjoyable, honestly. I don't know why people like getting drunk. I've had drinks at airports. I've never gotten alcohol on a plane. Usually, number one, because it's overpriced and it doesn't come with my plane ticket because I'm not buying a fucking $60,000 Emirates first class plane seat. But I would not want to just get drunk on a plane. I feel like that would... Imagine, you know how your ears clog? That feeling mixed with being drunk would probably make me nauseous.
This room being just an ultimate hangout spot. Just flying through the sky at 500 miles an hour. Having a massive TV, different countertops to share a drink with someone. You ever Cal see the video of uh, 6 9 eat a handful of like hallucinogenic mushrooms on, a, on the back of like a fucking spirit flight? I can't show that on stream just because it's illegal drugs. But, um, dude, when he did that, that would be the worst trip ever. Wait, no, not 6 9 It was a little pump. That's who it was. Not 6 9 Yeah, it was a little pump. He was like, he was like, fuck this shit. Just takes a handful, probably like four grams, and just eats them. And then is just sitting in the back of the plane going, ah, 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 or some shit. I wish I could find a video. Hold up. I could play the audio. Lil Pump Mushrooms on Plane. That's you know back. <laughs> How'd they get mushrooms on a fucking plane, though? Like, how did they- they got- They got, like, a fucking half ounce of fucking psilocybin mushrooms on an airplane. How? Like, I feel like TSA would stop that. He's just eating them, though, and then just fucking screeching. Zeusy for the $30 dono to WWF. Thank you for the fucking dono. Says W, good person, Joe. Thank you, Zeusy. What's up, bro? Super for the 10 to WWF. Were you ever depressed as a teen or growing up? Yeah. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say, like, clinically diagnosably depressed. Like, I didn't have depression. Uh, but I would say, yeah, there, were, there was a few month spans that I felt just awful. Like I woke up and didn't want to eat every day. It was pretty bad. Getting in those ruts suck. But I mean, like you got to push through that shit. Personal question. I know a lot of teens that struggle with it. Yeah, dude. A lot of teenagers struggle with depression, man. It's pretty common. That's why I always fucking say, you know, if you're going through something, reach out to somebody. Don't just fucking sit there and deal with it alone. Sammy for the 10 to WWF. Oshira for the three. I had a crush on one of the regulars at the gas station. Found out he's 30. I'm 18. Rip. He's still fine as hell, though. Do you know Gunner? Gunner TV? Yeah. I talked to him today. He talked about uh, playing some video games with me in the future. He said he started doing variety. Georgia for the two. Uh, speak for everybody when I say you're one of the most selfless and caring people to exist. You may have helped me without realizing, uh, without realizing and giving amazing advice to people that need it. Thank you, Joe. Well, thank you for the fucking nice-ass message. Uh, Maya for the three. And I would not say I'm one of the nicest people to ever exist, or one of the caring people to ever exist. But I mean, you know, I've been trying to become a better and better person through the years. I, I'm a big advocate of self-improvement as well. Uh, and I think I've changed for the better pretty drastically over the last couple of years. So, you know, thank you. Uh, I'm glad that you've, you've noticed. Maya for the three. Woke up today, happiest I've ever been in a while. Go to school and find out one of my favorite teachers passed away. Rip in the chat. I'm sorry to hear that. I promised him yesterday that I'd be early just for him. Show up and he's not here. Wow. I want everybody to be thankful for what you have. You never know what will happen. And never felt more lost. Rip Mr. G. Cole for the three. I'm sorry you're going through that. Uh, and I'm sorry for your teacher's passing. Define and Mason for the sub. Wow. That is sad. Somebody said play Doki Doki. We already finished that game. If you have any other games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord and send videos in the video slash tab games in the game slash tab. Uh, it's how I find most of the videos that I watch in the games that I play. Uh, this kid said, uh, shrooms aren't illegal, dumb fuck. Do your research before opening that fat, unbrushed um, mouth. I think you're just uh, trying to get a reaction out of me. Uh, shrooms are illegal in most states. Uh, mushrooms are illegal. Uh, classified as an illegal substance with the capacity for abuse i would not say that mushrooms should be classified in the tier that they are uh in drug classification now but in federal like in the federal government um they are not legal uh also where is my chat my, my chat just disappeared hello hello where is chat Is that like a Twitch thing or a me thing? I'm pulling up my own. My stream's not lagging, but my chat is. What the fuck?
I'm trying to pull up my own stream because I can't even see myself. Save us not again. It's happening. What's happening? Can you guys see me? I have to refresh it every time to even see what you guys are saying. Why is why is Twitch chat glitching like this? Is it glitching for you guys as well? Hold up, let me pull it. What the fuck? Oh, it's back. It's back. It's back. It's back. What the fuck happened? What the fuck happened there? That had to be a Twitch-sided issue. Because that was weird as fuck. My chat box is gone. But I can see you guys now. It's not back? Yeah, the chat box... It, I can see what you guys are saying now. But my chat box was gone. That was weird, dude. We can't see chat. There it is. Nap for the three. Spread love and peace. It's for the sub. Defined in VT for the sub. What the fuck was I talking about? I honestly forget what the fuck I was even talking about. Somebody remind me what the hell I was talking about. Oh, that kid that said mushrooms aren't legal or whatever. Or aren't illegal. They are illegal. Um, in most states. I mean, not as bad as, like, crack. But, I mean... Yeah, dude, that was weird. Shrooms are legal in Canada. I'm 14 and I can buy them. It really depends. Well, I'm talking about the U.S. And in some U.S. states, you could buy mushrooms as well. But I'm saying for the majority of U.S. states, uh, that, that's why, it, especially on planes too, even if they're legal in the states, you're still not allowed to, allowed to fly on a flight with fucking hallucinogens, I'm assuming. Unknown in VT for the set. I'm not dissing mushrooms. I'm just saying, like, I, I'm cra it was crazy how he fucking did that. All right, lock back into the video. That was weird. Couches that if you wanted, you could stay in for landing as they're equipped with seatbelts. And this overall vibe that's perfect to meet the crew and passengers on board. And ladies and gentlemen, that is just the start of this small town feel on an aircraft. As you see, located at the complete front of the aircraft is a shower slash spa area. Like, this is by far the- What the fuck is a mushroom? You don't know what a mushroom is? Most impressive non-seat room. Like, first off, this room is freaking enormous. The amenities just keep on getting crazy. Over here, having a full-on real plane. Here, having a hair dryer. So there being a screen here, which it looks like we're finally getting over India there. However, of course, the coolest thing is the shower, which we get a total runtime. In every flight video, people freak out. Oh my god, I could shower on, a pl on an airplane. I could shower on it. That's not that cool. That's not that cool. Okay, cool bathroom, big toilet room, that's dope, right? Oh, I can shower? Just shower before you get on the fucking flight. What am I, what am I running laps on the airplane? A five minutes. Life is amazing. And I gotta say, there are no words to describe how good it feels to take a shower on an airplane. Anyway, with our PJs on, it's time to go back to our suite. As the crew has turned down our seat to become a bed. Which is made to be like a cloud in the sky with having a fluffy pillow, pretty... Yeah, I would I would ask for another fucking pillow. Thick mattress layer, a duvet, and also our flight attendant surprised us with tea. Somebody and redeemed scream refunded. I'm losing my voice. Savior for the ten to WWF. Go save the animals, Mr. Joe Farty Pookie Bear. Logan for the three. What's in the mini shields? I'm in the military. I want to try, but obviously can't have anything related to weed. Unknown for the sub VT for the sub. It depends which one. The one that I drank had uh Kava, Cola Seed, uh, Lion's Mane, and Rhodiola, but then there's another one that's much stronger that has Kratom in it. Fresh cut fruit, and of course this is a beautiful bed, but it's also a movie theater. Like Emirates has even made a different menu specifically called the movie menu. Ah, uh, the best midnight. Scary video after? Uh, we're gonna watch scary videos at the end of stream. Stop requesting me to watch specific videos in my chat or games for me to play. If you have any games you want me to react to or games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, join the Discord. Mods pin the Discord link. If you have any videos you want me to react to or games you want me to play, videos suggest chat, games suggest chat. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch, the games that I play. So if you have any videos you want me to watch or games you want me to play, send those there because it's how I find most of the videos that I watch, the games that I play. Not a guarantee I watch the video that you send, 
or a fucking play the video, or not watch the video, but play the game that you want me to play or watch the video you want me to watch. But, you know, it is uh, how I watch, uh, find most of the videos that I watch the games I play. Playing for the sub, Olsen for the three. You're my favorite streamer. Thank you. Cloak for the f Cloak. Motherfucker. You did not need... Cloak for the $125 dono to WWF. Thanks once again, Joe, for supporting a wonderful charity. I admire your self assist and look up to you heavenly in that aspect. WStream. Thank you for the fucking dono cloak. $125 to WWF. Oh my god. We are at $1,297 WWF. An hour and a half in a stream. Dub in the fucking chat for that shit. Appreciate y'all's support. Love being able to do these charity streams. And thank you, Cloak. W Editor. W Mod. W Ban. Thank you, Cloak, for that $125 dono. Olsen also said... I want to let you know, fuck answer, my friend's grandpa just got it. I'm sorry to hear that. There you go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, enemy burger. And since we have literally 18 He's hours... eating again? ...left in Emirates, I think I'm going to choose a series that I've never seen before. Surprisingly, of Iron Man. Okay, and just finished movie one of three. And honestly, for all the Iron Man movie lovers out there, how have I never seen this movie? Like, that was freaking... Un what would be, like, the worst movie series to watch on an airplane? Just, like, a shitty fucking movie series. Just hunker down and watch that shit on, like, a 15-hour flight. Maybe, like, the, the fucking paranormal activity video or not movies or, like, um... What's that one where they can see how they're gonna die? Sharknado would be a bad series to watch. Final destination, yeah. VOD for the set, BR for the three. But now an hour. You really want to freak out? You really want to freak out the flight attendants? What's like a movie about plane crashes? You just, you just watch that shit on repeat. You watch the Sully movie, fucking five times. Like you literally leave. You literally, yeah, like a nine eleven documentary. You leave like a nine eleven documentary or like Sully. Just on repeat. All, like, for the entire 15-hour plane ride. And every time they see you, you're just, like, you're just, like, zoned in, unblinking. Just visibly hyperventilating. <laughs> just <laughs> fucking freaking yourself out. Swell for the three. Uh, can you look at my recent chat? I don't know any other uh, Twitch streamer that would do this. Proud of you for keeping up the grind for the past four years. If, uh, if you get any hate, just use it as motivation to keep moving. Those people don't want to see you win or succeed. W. Joe, W. Stream for this. Uh, w. Jeffrey, been making streams in general, putting people's smiles on faces. Thank you. Fucking nice ass message. Four nine, we're about to arrive to Dubai, which normally I would be sad to leave this airplane seat. However, as we land, let me explain. You see, here in Dubai, we're changing to plane number two, which is actually the newer and more luxurious first class seat Emirates offers. However, before we board that flight, I want to tell you guys something that I'm super excited by, and that's been in the process for literally years. You see, without a doubt, the most- Somebody said you're talking too fast. Brother, brother, catch up. Brother, catch up. I'm like XQC in this bitch. You gotta watch me for long enough to be able to know what the fuck I'm saying. Ask travel question I get. I still think I enunciate what I'm saying though. It's just when I read donos, I really cut. Is where should people stay when they're traveling to different cities that I've already been to? And for sponsor, I'm skipping it. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. Feels good to be back. Feels ridiculous saying that. <laughs> but as we take off from Dubai and headed to Brussels, welcome to the new and improved Emirates first class seat. Which honestly, again, I've flown on Emirates before, but this suite is just on a completely different level. Like You're going to video call your room service? What? What? New and improved before, but this suite... You're going to video call it's your just fucking... <laughs> the fucking... <laughs> the, the flight attendants? You're going to FaceTime them?
a completely different level. Like if we compare it to the first seed, this one is upgraded in every single wave from the big things like the size of this suite being nearly double the last with there being only six of these first class seats on this aircraft and with the space being also fully private with a floor to ceiling door, which makes this room feel like more like a five star hotel room. With the control pad looking like a new iPad, the vanity mirror being triple the size of the last, there being not one but two hotel like mini bars with also having one large table and a second for drinks again having no overhead bins but there's this massive space in front of you but honestly there's no reason to use it because you have a storage area next to that and even a closet instead of controlling the heat from those that's utterly pointless maybe if you have like a fucking suit and tie that you need to hang up or some shit but like dude a fucking closet you're not staying here for days you're there for a flight holes they have a full-on system to do so which also controls the light Why is he on wasting money on this he probably got it for cheaper most of the youtubers that do these didn't i doubt he actually spent 68 grand on it that's the price for the average person but a lot of youtubers accrue flight miles or like skew the system in some way to get these both the ceiling back wall and even the ground as there's these little star lights in there and with the control system also being able to control the color of the room having a rainbow of colors to choose from with there also being window shades having three different types of shades of the first being a simple screen the second being a blackout one and then having actual shades and to top it all off over here you even have binoculars to take in the beautiful Beautiful views of this journey and that crazy the crazy beautiful views of the clouds because you're gonna be flying fucking 20,000 feet in the air you're not gonna you're not gonna see anything you're gonna see shit the first 10 minutes of the flight and the last 10 minutes of the flight feeling continues within every single aspect of this experience for example the last aircraft you had to press the normal flight attendant button to order food but on this one you have a video call room service option hello i'd like to order some food and along with that with the two that man cheesing dude you ring him up imagine you're a little pump after you just ate your fucking five grams of mushrooms you call him up what can i get you Oh, you need more re more refreshments. Okay. I'd like to order some food. Oh, you want a charcuterie board? And along with that, with the $2 billion upgrade in this seat, the menu is taken to completely new heights. With before the first course, offering something called a muse bouche of... That looks like salad in a cup. Cantaloupe with Spanish ham and a beautiful feta salad. Which... It's like too fancy. There's a, there's a level of too fancy for me. And I think, it, I think it's reached that. Right? I could go to a nice steakhouse or, like, a nice sushi restaurant. But then there's, like, they pass that, and now I'm in the I don't even know what I'm eating realm. Right? Like, this uh, this is foreign food to me in every regard. What the fuck am I consuming? Brady for the fucking 126 to WWF! Just got out of class. Couldn't let Cloak outdo me like that. W Charity Stream Joe. Thank you for the 126, Brady. Motherfucker just dropped a hundred and twenty-six dollar donut of WWFW in the fucking chat for Brady as well. Ted Tacos for the three. Currently in the Dobbs because my fucking tire blew out. Uh, for the three, not going. Uh, not got much going on. Love your videos. Want to say keep up the great work, Lily for the five. Thank you for doing these charity streams. Appreciate it. Glad to help. Would you ever consider uh, consider doing a charity stream for Rain for this Awareness Month? Um, possibly, but my next charity stream is probably not until May. Uh, and the next one that I'm doing, I think I'm doing for Ukraine. Uh, I think I have it pretty much mapped out, but then after that, I'm kind of open on, on what I would do. Uh, but I'm open for basically most charities. Uh, it's just whether or not I have the capability to do it the next charity stream. Uh, what's WWF World Wildlife Fund? It's well for the three. Uh, and Drew for the 750. Thank you for the motivation and entertaining videos and streams. You really helped me a lot through, uh, especially when I came out. Keep up the great work, and you deserve it all. Thank you. Run us for the sub. It was good, but as this is brunch, for the first course, we have both breakfast foods and afternoon foods, with in front of us having a massive pastry basket of croissants and pastries, but along with that, our third plate of caviar, which I'm not going to lie, I could definitely get used to this. However, you truly see the upgrade in this menu with the main course of the beautiful lamb chop, which honestly, if you were to serve me this in a restaurant, I would never have thought this was made on a plane. Like, how is this even possible? But for dessert, this menu 
menu goes to an entirely new level with the most expensive dessert course of my life. Having first a his facial reactions are aggravating me. Like if I ever went to a nice, I don't care how nice the restaurant is. If I was sitting with my friend and we were eating a fucking ten thousand dollar tiramisu, and he his eyes roll back in his head when he fucking eats that, I'm gonna I'm gonna actually just mean mug him. I'm gonna go. Oh, it's that good. Oh, really? No, oh, it's that. Oh, oh, really? Oh, wow. That you gotta go. Fucking eyes roll back in your head. No, there's nothing that I could eat that would make me do that. The France for the sub. Dessert. This menu goes to an entirely new level with the most expensive for the sub dessert. Bod for the three. How much cat? Can you think you could eat that much caviar? I don't know. Course of my life. Having first a stunning chocolate truffle cake paired with a side of cognac that costs seven thousand dollars per bottle. Which that fuck that fucking Hennessy paradise. That Hennessy, that Henny, give me, pour me up that fu that fucking Paradise Henny. No, I hate cognac. That shit sucks. That shit is awful. Cognac is fucking over fermented wine. It tastes terrible. Per bottle, which surprisingly isn't even the craziest thing on this menu, making me truly excited for our lunch later in the flight. And it's so good, but I am so full. And honestly, as we're in like hour 19 now, I'm not gonna lie, I'm getting a bit tired. Which is good because probably the wildest upgrade in this entire suite is the seat itself and specifically the bed itself. Having nearly double the blankets with your typical duvet, but also a sheepskin blanket, which feels like you're literally sleeping on a cloud, which funny enough, it's designed to do exactly that. The function that we're in right now is called zero gravity mode, which simulates the feeling of weightlessness. And although watching a movie in bed is incredible. How the hell is your bed gonna simulate weightlessness? Definitely cool, definitely the best feature in my opinion is the fact that the table and bed are made. Go so more in depth into that. That you can either choose the- That looks like dead ass a men- Yeah, like somebody said it's giving mental hospital. This looks like you just checked me into a fucking psych ward and they're gonna strap me in. This does not- This looks like a hospital bed, but I'm resisting. And so they have to buckle me in or else I'm gonna fucking start biting people. Even a seat form or- Like whenever we watch those body cam videos and there's like a really drunk person that's like aggressively trying to attack the officers and the EMTs. They buckle you into one of these things. So that you can either choose to eat in a seat form or a bed form. So in front of us, we have, of course, our fifth meal of lunch. Being an absolutely stunning tortellini. And since we're watching another movie on the side, some movie popcorn. Like, this is starting to make sense why this is the record-breaking ticket price. However, as mentioned in the beginning... I still don't think there is... Like, I don't think there's anything that would make it worth that price tag. Regardless of what you're being given, a fucking $33,000 seat is so obscenely expensive. That's what that's what an average American makes in a year. Like there are people that have an annual income lower than 33,000 a year. And somebody's spending that on one ticket. Like that's the price of a a new car why this is the record-breaking ticket price. However, as mentioned in the beginning, I didn't pay nearly that price. And there's actually two ways that anyone could go about doing this. So starting with the first way, not all routes are created easy. As you see, there's something called Fifth Freedom Flights, which basically is when an airline outside of the two places that it's flying to is allowed to fly there. And typically, Emirates offers deals that are way more affordable than other places. However, what we did was a little bit different because we went to and from Dubai. We use something called Miles Plus Cash. So for example, for us, our first flight came at a grand total a bit less than $400. So basically, you get points, you find the best miles and cash. Yeah, but he's using, he's accruing flight miles and then just spending an extra bit of money for 23, 20, 237,000 miles and $873, uh, $70. Cash deals. And then you enjoy it. So I guess. Yeah, no, I mean, that makes sense. I mean, that was a decent video. But I, I don't think that any, I, I, whenever I watch those videos, it's like every other year somebody comes out with a, ooh, the mo new expensive flight. It's the same shit. They give you a bunch of food. You have a mini bar and a bed and a TV. You can't really add that much more in a fucking box that is hurling through the air 
at fucking 500 miles an hour, fucking 20,000 feet above fucking land, right? Like, how much are you going to make that more? You, you can't update it that much more. Epic for the three. Uh, daily reminder, I'm the king at, uh, around here. You are all pawns in my game. Particular particles of sand in my private naked beach. Do not forget your place in my chat. Sells for the sub. But he thinks he runs the show. Scorched by a dumb cane. We haven't watched a fucking Brave Wilderness video in so long. Yo, I'm waiting for him to eat some shit and be like, this has blank in blank, and it's known to give people brain aneurysms, strokes, heart attack, lead to cancer, and today we're going to be fucking eating a whole goddamn one of them. Like, he's just been doing crazy. He has to keep going crazier and crazier. Like, I know he started out with, like, fire ants, and that was nuts, but now bro's, like, eating poisonous plants. <laughs> like, he's actually, he's, like, consuming poison for, for videos. Like, I, I feel like people aren't recognizing that transition from getting stung by a beetle that hurts and has poison to literally gnawing on a root that will, like, make you pass out. Or some shit. And the most dangerous place. I would to never. I would. I would chat. Would you rather? Would you rather put your tongue on this thing, or get stung by like a bullet ant? I'd rather get stung by a bullet. Bro, I would not want to put my tongue. Having pain in your mouth would probably feel so much worse than just getting stung in the arm. Like your arm's gonna hurt like a motherfucker, right? But it's not gonna. It's not gonna bother you as bad as like putting your tongue on a fucking plant and then it swells up and it starts hurting and then it doesn't go away. Epic for the sub. 10 tacos for the $25 down now to WWF. Thank you. you can get Imagine being like a caveman that wiped your ass with a fucking, with like poison ivy. It's in your ass probably would feel so good though. Oh my God, yo. Imagine you're a caveman that like wiped your ass with poison ivy. That shit starts itching. It would be the worst ever, but you'd be, like, rubbing your ass on a rock. Like, one of those dogs. You ever have? You ever see a dog with worms that just, that, like, butt scoots? If your dog butt scoots on the ground, he probably has worms. Why is your camera not clear? It is. Turn up the fucking quality. Epic for the three. This has got to be from Oklahoma. Who else would put themselves through this? POV, me on Mondays before my morning coffee. I hate your chats. I fucking hate your chats. I do not look forward to reading them. Epic dude, bro. POV, me on Mondays before my morning coffee. Bizzle for the three. I know you're not with G Fuel anymore. Now that you're on Schlatt server, you try to get a partnership with Gamer Subs. It's been 24 hours since I... Well, that was a fucking interesting video. Shep for the sub. Xmas for the four. Uh, can you pray for my friend? He wants to kill himself. I, I don't know. I, I think you got to kind of be more active there uh, than... than prayer i think you need to fucking if he's actively saying he wants to kill himself i think you should fucking do something now right i don't think this is a pray for my friend type of thing if he's actively saying he's gonna fucking kill himself you should probably like call his parents or something i don't i i mean yeah but i, I mean i'm not religious but uh, yeah i don't know get him to a hospital or a therapist Prayer also helps. That's more... I, I'm not going to get into a religious conversation right now. I'm saying if your friend is actively saying, Hey, I'm going to kill myself. Saying, I'll pray for you. That's not... That's not helping, right? Late game in the sense of, Hey, prayer would help. Okay, I'm not going to get into this. I'm not going to get into an argument right now. I'm not dissing prayer. But I'm saying in the exact moment of, Hey, this guy's about to kill himself. You need to say, hey, man, don't do that. Go to a fucking therapist. Actively talk to your fucking friend, right? Sitting there in silence and praying to yourself is not going to fucking make your friend not jump off a building, right? You got to do shit, right? Prayer is a secondary thing that can help. I'm not saying it doesn't, but I'm saying in the sense of your friend is actively going to die. Fucking go, go help him, right? If it's that far through. I'm not dissing prayer. I understand the use of prayer. I'm not saying I don't I have my own personal beliefs on prayer and religion and all that other stuff. I've already shared that. We're doing another philosophy segment on Sunday. 
We could talk about more of that then. I'm not dissing prayer. I'm not dissing religion. I'm just saying, if your friend's saying he's actively going to kill himself, fucking help him, right? Somebody said, my bad, Joe. But it's not your bad. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at anybody. You look 30 right now, Joe. I, don't, I, I do not look 30. To be honest, somebody who's a Christian, I would help my friend. I wouldn't let them talk to me. I would get them help, but I would also pray for them after. That's what I'm saying. You can pray for them after they're off the ledge, so to speak. Literally or figuratively, right? Except for the sub. Like, if my friend's fucking standing on the, the top of a five-story building, and he's like, I'm gonna jump, I'm not gonna go, okay, and then pray, I'm gonna fucking be like, don't do that, right? Fucking try and get him off, and then you can pray after that. That's a whole different, that's basically what I'm saying. But I hope your friend's okay, right? Suicide is never the answer. If your friend's going through something, help him, right? I know you're not a therapist, you could direct him to somebody that is, though, or fucking guide him to somebody that can help him. Right, whether it be his family, his friends, guidance counselor, right? I, I know I repeat myself a lot with this, but suicide is genuinely never the answer. You look 18 or 17. I'm 22. I just turned 22. Uh, but I don't think I look 30. I think people that think I look 30 are stupid. Uh, not stupid, but have no... Uh, what the fuck? You think I look 30 years old? Have you seen a 30-year-old? I'm nowhere near 30. I'm a, almost a decade away. Lock in. Next video. Why are so why so many porn stars are dying? 2024 has been awful for the adult film industry. Recently, adult film stars have been dropping like flies. Cagney Lynn Carter, dead at 36 from taking her own life. Sophie Leone, dead at 26 from a suspected homicide. Jesse Jane, dead at 43 from an overdose. Fonda Fields, dead at 24. At the time of this video being recorded, Emily Willis is in critical condition from an overdose and her family is expecting the worst. It seems wow. like... That's a lot. And it's only that it's only been four months this year. Every week I've been hearing about some adult film star just randomly dying. So what the fuck is going on? Or better yet, what is going on in the industry? Well, the adult film I feel like adult film like I mean, I don't know any statistics on this, but I feel like the adult film industry has been I don't know if you would loop OnlyFans into that, but I feel like I feel like that has been kind of crowded by OnlyFans. Like, I, I, it, it, is the adult film industry as big as it was in, like, the 2010s? Back then, when they were, like, transitioning from, like, CDs to, like, online shit? I feel like OnlyFans models are, are the people that make the money, now at least. Like, the biggest OnlyFans models are making millions per month, right? Versus, like, somebody potentially making what? Hold up. Somebody potentially making, like, what, two grand a video or something? I don't know how much porn stars get paid. Epic for the three. Very flattered by all your affection. I see how you couldn't resist such a handsome leader like me. You are all now my derp queens. Regretfully, applications to be my bay are closed. Industry is probably one of the worst industries to work in ever. Now, that really shouldn't be too surprising. An industry as gross and obscure as porn being a really weird place to work, I mean, no surprise, right? But people don't really seem to grasp just how awful this industry really is and the genuine terrible effect it has on people and on society. So let's cut the bullshit and just get right into it. So, how exactly is the industry connected to all of these deaths? Well, I think a good start is looking at one of the- I don't know. I, I, I think OnlyFans issues and porn issues are two different things. Uh, I think a big issue for just any adult film star is stalkers. Like, fucking p chat, I'm literally, I swear to God, I'm going to put it in email only. I swear to God, I'm going to put it in email only. Mods, put it in email only. I think the issue for any fucking, um, like, OnlyFans model or just, like, porn star in general is just fucking creepy people like creepy fans right i mean that's just with any social media influencer as well but especially people that are in the adult film industry right like i deal with creepy fans women streamers deal with it 10 times more than me and then fucking adult film stars that are women are dealing with it on, on fucking a thousand fold right you're gonna have people that would like 
legit legitimately not die for them, but like be like uh that creepy shit. If I can't have you, no one can type shit, where they try and fucking kill you, which I'm assuming probably has happened in the past with either corn stars or OnlyFans models. People that I mentioned earlier. All right, take it out. If they do it again, mods just put it in sub only mode. Well, I think a good start is looking at one of the people that I mentioned earlier, Thyna Fields. Now, months before she died, she talked about facing serious abuse in the adult industry. It is very difficult to be a woman and create adult content when society is literally in shit. At 24 years old, she was found unalive in her home. But one of the weirdest things is that Why the Why do they say unalive? Dead. Dead. Is this for, like, monetization reasons? Dead. They were found dead. Unalive, dead, not living, right? Cause of her death was not really made available. Now, when interviewed about her death, her friend and fellow adult film star Alejandra Sweet said that I can't really share too many details right now because I'm saddened by the news. Now, the production company that she was signed to, Milky Peru, released a statement on their Instagram dedicated to Thina. We still can't believe this. On we Instagram post, bruh. Refused to be without Off the business account. You. We would like to see you one more time. We hope someone wakes us up from this bad dream. You will always be in our hearts. Thank you for yeah, that PR team stretching right there. That PR team's fucking begging, begging for some good publicity. Wow. The fucking, the f Milky Peru Instagram page fucking, fucking posted her rip. Like what? For allowing us to be part of your life. And this is the same production company that she was facing all of this abuse from at the time. It's pretty suspicious behavior, don't you think? Now, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist here, but maybe, just maybe, it was an inside job. Nah, I'm just kidding. I don't think it's gone that far, but it's still kind of fucking weird. Now, Thana is not the first to open up about the dark side of this industry. In fact, almost every single major adult film star that you can think of has opened up about the abuse, exploitation, and the serious consequences of it. Lana Rhodes, one of the biggest stars out there, has talked about being forced to do certain scenes that she really did not want to do. During my short stint in porn, the really extreme acts were what was popular, and that's why being the number one performer in the industry at the time everyone wanted to make money off me so they pushed oh so you had to do the the more the more like raunchy shit me to do these things um and it just gets really extreme like you were saying abusive i don't want to go into too much detail like honestly some of my experiences are really humiliating for me and i wish that they never happened Many adult film stars, both male and female, are often forced to do scenes that they really, really do not want to perform. Now, not every job is perfect. In almost any job that you want to be successful in, you have to do things that you don't want to do. Actors often have to take roles that they don't really like that much in order to boost their career and get recognition. But if you're trying to get your foot into the adult film industry, you don't really get a say. Many scenes often require doing extremely gross and painful things in order to get the job. I'm not gonna describe any of those things, but I think you can use your imagination. Now, a lot of these girls start in the industry when they're young, as young as 18 years old, as a matter of fact. But oftentimes, many are recruited even younger. Tracy Lords, one How? of the most successful actresses in her time, was only 15 years old when she started. She what? used a fake birth certificate and a fake driver's license to claim that she was way older than she actually was and starred in many, many movies. In the 80s, she was one of the highest paid adult film actresses at the time earning over a thousand dollars per day and this was all while she was only 16 years old that is still ass for a fucking dude a thousand oh a thousand a day in the 80s but bro and how did they not know she was in the adult film industry for two years plus three years plus and they were never like hey you know what why is your dad dropping you off Old. But when she turned you don't have a license 18 the authorities finally looked into the tip that she was actually underage And they discovered that her credentials were completely fake wow. the owners of her video agency excitement videos were arrested and any film that she starred in was now legally considered child porn in court the well, government no prosecutors claimed that Tracy was manipulated by the industry and was drugged to do certain scenes that she did not want to do oh however in her autobiography she claims that anyone who worked with her never once saw her take drugs and that she was fully 
aware of her actions, but many of her co-workers and even her sister have heavily criticized the book for lying. Now, this is the most well-known case of underage actors in adult films and probably the most controversial one because it's kind of hard to decide who to really put the blame on. Was it Tracy's fault for lying to the company by using- It's both. It's, it's not, it's not, that is not a once, in that scenario, that's not a one-sided thing. I would definitely say it's a lot on the industry as well on like, you know, having fucking background checks for that type of career, especially when it's like everybody's fucking naked on fucking camera. But I mean, it's both, it's both fucking people's fault. She fucking straight up lied. She straight up lied faked credentials, which is also a crime <laughs> because she fucking having a that it's the same thing as having a fake ID, but on a, on a much fucking bigger extent. Uh, but it's also the industry, right? It's also the fucking company that had her on for what, three years and never fucking looked into it. Uh, so I would say it's both in that regard. Yeah. Fake documents that looked real. Maybe the company genuinely did not know. Or should somebody said love is love. This is porn, bro. This ain't love. The fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what is this man saying in my chat? This is a porn star that fucking that got on camera and was making corn. This has nothing to do. What do you mean love is love? The movie company have done a better job at checking her background and making sure that she really was of age. Keep in mind, it was the 80s. The internet was still pretty new. And yeah, background checking that? Uh, I don't, I mean, I don't know, but still. It's just because they didn't have the fucking capability to look people up, uh, they probably should have looked more into the legitimacy of the documents that they saw. It's just how, how good her fakes were. Wasn't very advanced. But that's not really even close to the worst of it. Because one of the worst secrets in the industry easily is the human trafficking. Now, over 4.8 million people globally are sexually exploited, and more than 20% of those people are children. And many of these people are used solely for the purpose of pornography. The number one site where all of this content has been uploaded is Pornhub, the world's biggest porn site, the site that both you and me have been on I didn't even think about this. Is this TOS on this app? No, right? Because we're watching something that's educational. And this isn't even age-restricted. This is just a regular fucking YouTube video. Four. And if you genuinely have the balls to say that you've never been on it, you're a goddamn liar. In December 2018, a 15-year-old girl randomly went missing after she left her home. The mom did find her daughter 10 months later, but she didn't find her through the authorities. Oh, she stop. found her on Pornhub, where she was featured in over 50 videos. Don Gianni, a substitute teacher, was arrested after she posted videos of her assaulting her 14-year-old family member on the website. And the only reason the authorities knew- 14-year-old family member? knew about it was because one of her classmates saw the video online and reported it. Rose Columbo was 14 years old when she was kidnapped by two men and R-worded for 12 hours straight. They uploaded the footage to the hub and several months later, students at her school- And they don't have like a bot, but they don't have like a fucking system to fucking scan that shit and report it? 12 hour scene? Of her getting graped and they didn't fucking... I feel like you should have... For you to be an uploader on a website like that, you should have, you should be able, you shouldn't be able to just make an account and upload videos. You should have to be fucking doing, like, in-depth background. It should be like a job. We're sharing the link on MySpace and tagging her. Several versions of this video were uploaded to the site, with one of them having over 400,000 views. Now, over the course of six months, she reached out to Pornhub and explained multiple times that she was a minor and that this was assault and begged them to take the video down but never got a response. Wow. Until finally, she created a new email posing as a lawyer and demanded they take the video down or legal action would occur. And there are many, and I mean... M why, I mean, why didn't she, why didn't she go the legal route? They, the fucking, uh, 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 number one, against the people that raped her, but number two, against the people, or against Pornhub, right? For uh, enabling that video to stay up for that long. I feel like you could fucking try and sue them. I don't, I don't think she would actually win against Pornhub, though. Now that I'm saying that. If you're going against a billion-dollar company like that, you, they never win. They never win. Like, you remember that fucking... I mean, even... I, this is a shitty correlative example. But you remember the cruise ship video that we watched the other day? 
where like those people were like borderline starving and there was like no AC and all that shit and like everybody tried to sue and they got like a three hundred dollar voucher. You don't win against those lawyers. Like you don't win against I, I know it's like the law too, but like your lawyer matters in every legal case. If you have a shitty lawyer, they're not gonna know the loopholes that the other guy knows. They're not gonna know the route that you're gonna take. They're not gonna know the fucking points that you're gonna make, right? Better call Saul. I mean, in that sense, I know a lot of people jokingly say better call Saul, but like it is it, it is a fucking example where if you have a good fucking lawyer, you're gonna you're gonna win most of the cases. And those big conglomerate of companies are gonna have the fucking lawyers. Many stories just like this. These are only a few. However, one of the most infamous situations that brought attention to this issue was one of Pornhub's partner channels, Girls Do Porn. The website's founder, Michael Pratt, created multiple fake modeling websites and invited women to apply for a modeling gig. He posted ads for these on Craigslist and specifically targeted college towns and wanted women who were 18 to 21 years old. Once the women applied, he then told them that the job they actually applied for was for porn and not modeling. Because, you know, you can't really recruit porn stars through Craigslist? At least I don't think so. Now, these girls were initially offered two to six grand for 30 minutes of shooting. Now, many of the girls, predictably, were hesitant to actually sign the contract and take the gig, even though it was good money for what seemed like very little labor. So Michael tried to manipulate- You should immediately say no to that. If you take up an ad- If you take up a fucking job on Craigslist, and then they say, oh, this isn't actually the job. We want to shoot you naked for two Gs. I'd be like, let me see a fucking word-binding contractual piece of... I'd be like, I would feel, I'd be like, let me get a fucking attorney for this. You're just going to be like, oh, yeah, whatever. Fucking get two Gs in cash. Like, what? Wool for the 10 to WWF. Been watching for some time. I just got my first payout affiliate. Currently average around 12 years right now. Thought I would donate some money for my first payout. Do you have any tips to grow my Discord? I mean, that's just shouting it. Floating for the 10. Sorry, uh, you missed the fact of the day. I was in the hospital. Thousand people in Texas called the cop. Are you okay? Thousand plus people in Texas called the cops during the eclipse because they thought the sun went out. No. A thousand people in Texas called the cops because they thought the sun went out? What did they say? Well, the sun's gone. Where'd it go? <laughs> Probably old people. Probably old people. Old people that don't watch the news. Or, like, have the internet. Epic for the three. I was born with the unfortunate genetic mutation of having orange hair. In Australia, we are ridiculed and called Ranga, coming from the orange monkey orangutan. In America, do orange-haired people face the same struggles of bullying? Also, hi, hello, chat. Oshira for the three. Four hours down, four to go. You basically have to stream for four more hours. What? Nano for the three. Never given a money, uh, never given a creator money. Second time, really enjoy the content. Have you seen the video that Tina trips on ass and gets arrested? I think. Uh, swell for the three. Just got paid. Here's more bets. You don't like 30 or 40, uh, or whatever the chatters think. It's the camera quality because it's raw, if that makes sense. Uh, when I saw you in the Mr. Beast video, the camera quality wasn't as good as your face cam. Uh, you look fine. I don't know why some chatters are probably going to have a 600 draw camera. My face looks more raw. Epic for the three. Uh, all right. We're caught back up manipulate the women and get them to sign contracts in very shady and straight up illegal ways. He hired reference girls and their job was to earn the women's trust and try and deceive them into signing the contract by lying to them and withholding certain information. For That's actually crazy. Getting another girl around the same age to say, hey, I've already taken this job. This makes sense, right? Every contract- When is this going into why they're dying? I, I just forgot we're watching a video about why they're dying and we're more than halfway through the video. These reference girls got signed. They earned 25 to 200 bucks. And Michael had these contracts written in a... $25? They paid a girl $25 to lie to a woman and try and get her to do fucking naked porn videos? How bad did the person need 25 bucks? What the fuck? Trav, for the $15 dono to WWF, love the streams, thank you. 
very, very complicated way to make them as confusing as possible. These contracts never once mentioned the website name Girls Do Porn and never mentioned the fact that they would be uploaded to the website even though they were. To really try and push the girls to sign the contracts, they would get them extremely drunk or even get them to take hard drugs, sometimes against their will. And they also didn't let any of the girls keep any of the contracts. After the girls signed, they immediately got them to work. Instead of the initial filming for 30 minutes like they were promised, shooting lasted for a whole nine hours straight. And the content that the girls were filming was so violent and rough that some of them started bleeding uh, down there. The girls were all- Oh my, and they didn't- uh, Dude, you would- I, I feel like this, you would have to have legal standing. They drugged you to sign a contract, didn't give you a copy, lied to you on a Craigslist ad, got somebody to fucking, paid somebody to lie to you to get you to sign the contract, then fucking forced you to do nine hours of filming, made you fucking bleed, probably scream in pain, and then sent you on your fucking way and uploaded it and lied to you. Like that, I feel like that ha you have to have some grounding there. Often refused breaks and That's not just like a he said, she said thing. Company employees even tried to get the girls to have sex with them, even though that is not part of the business. An employee even forced one of the girls to have sex with him at gunpoint. And even after all of that, more than half of the girls only received a fraction of the money that they were promised. They made up complete BS excuses to try and hog them out of the cash, like, Oh, you look too old. Oh, you don't look like your picture. Oh, your acting wasn't good enough. Complete bullshit. The girls sued the parent company of Pornhub for $80 million, and this lawsuit was huge at the time. Pornhub has historically handled- 80 mil! 62 women sued Pornhub in latest San Diego case involving girls do porn videos. ...situations terribly by providing close to no action for non-consensual and underage content being posted to their website. The way their website worked was similar to YouTube where almost anyone can post to it. And while they may not have encouraged what necessarily was going on, they were profiting from it, which the parent company quite literally admitted to. It wasn't until the extreme rise of controversy and lawsuits that they finally changed their platform so that only verified users can post videos to their website. Any unverified videos or users were removed immediately. Their history with human trafficking is quite literally so bad that there is a whole Netflix documentary where porn stars talk about the connection from Pornhub to human trafficking, and I highly recommend it's very much worth checking out. Now, this is all pretty terrible. Terrible stuff. But how does all of this actually tie into the death? I feel like there should never be a contract in sexual scenes unless it's about protection. That makes absolutely no sense. I, I fucking 100% wholeheartedly disagree with you. What are you talking about? You feel like there should not be a contract in sexual scenes unless it's about protection. There should be a, there should be contracts every fucking where. In a sexual scene, there should be a contract detailing out every single thing that is going to happen in that scene. Every single thing that's going to happen in that scene. Right? And, cons and the consent for those things to happen, right? That should be laid out, right? So then there's no discrepancy on either end of what's going to happen and nobody's ever taken advantage of. There's also famous people that sign sex contracts, right? That's a thing, too. Not even outside of porn. They're, like, really, really, really famous people have sex contracts. When they want to have sex with somebody, they get them to sign a, a sex contract. And they detail what they're going to do with that person so that person can't turn around and go, you raped me, right? Like, that's an actual thing that, like, there, I don't know, I can't name a famous person that has it because I haven't, I haven't gone up to Tom Cruise and been like, hey, you ever make somebody sign a contract to fuck you? But, like, that's a thing that people do. Like, you could Google base contracts of that sort and they'll, they'll show up of the porn stars that we've been seeing. Well, if you look at the death of almost every actress, they usually die from one of two things, drugs or taking their own life. There is a very high correlation of people- Aiden Ross does that? Did he say, did he talk about that? I don't know if he did. Sexually traumatized and abusing drugs and alcohol and self- Fifty Shades of Grey? I don't, I never watched Fifty Shades of Grey. Do they sign a contract in that? Farm. From a use- Somebody said Tom Cruise grapes people. Yo, literally, literally, literally didn't even, that comment right there just shows how bad I need you to get this through your skull, lovely Kennedy. You just literally ignored what I said and fucking switched that to a flat out accusation. My God, that, the fact that you just typed that out of what I said, holy shit. I just said that some famous people have people sign contracts to have sex with them. Right? And I said, I don't know. I don't know an exact famous person. I referenced, hey, Tom Cruise might have that. And then, n nowhere, 
Nowhere did I say Tom Cruise does that to people. And then that was the fucking response. I was asking my bad. Well, I'm saying you got to just fucking replay the fucking clip at that point. Oh, my God. Like, that's just, that's how misinformation spreads. Jesus. BR killer for the sub. That's why when everybody, whenever anybody on social media ever gets fucking, goes through something or gets accused of something, people just immediately carry with it. They don't even look into it. They're just like, oh my god, Tom Cruise raped people? Holy fucking shit. And they just go tell fucking 45 people. Like, that's just awful. CLA study, more than 50% of porn stars reported using marijuana, one in five reported using cocaine, and one in five reported using- I gotta fucking rewind. I don't even know what this guy was saying. There is a very high correlation of people who are sexually traumatized and abusing drugs and alcohol and self-harm. From a UCLA study, more than 50% of porn stars reported using marijuana, one in five reported using cocaine, and one in five reported- Well, you're not gonna OD on marijuana using ecstasy or Xanax. And one third also said that they used hard drugs sometime within the last three months. And all of this is self-reported data, so those could be a lot higher stats. Many of these women are using drugs or self-harm to most likely cop with the trauma they experienced or to try and hide Cope. the sh shame of their career. Hence why we see so many overdoses and people taking their life. Riley Reed, one of the biggest names in the industry, talked about how her career basically completely ruined her personal life. I've lost my whole family and it sucks. So a lot of times when people ask me if they should do porn, I tell them no. I tell them that it makes life really hard. It makes dating really hard. It makes your family life really hard. It makes intimacy hard if you're putting yourself out there and the world is now judging you you have to be okay well because you're making an intimate experience work and when you do that then the blinds or the lines blur and you don't really know what you can do at that point okay with being shamed every day what is her haircut bangs like, I don't even want to have children because I do porn because I'm worried of the way that Yeah, no, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, no. If Riley Reed had a kid and then that kid grew up, that kid's getting fucking bullied. That kid's getting fucking bullied, dude. That would be awful. Like I oh my god. I'm not like I'm not dissing any porn star or OnlyFans model that has a child. Fucking good on ya. Like I'm just saying like they will get grilled in in, in school. The second people find out that a corn star is is your 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 mom or your dad or whatever, like that's just gonna be. Oof. When you're gonna be posting your POV from Block Wars, it should be on the VOD channel. Is it on the VOD channel? Ugh. Mods ban Progeny. I'm not able to ban them. Uh, BR for the sub. People will treat my child. With me personally, my mom was supportive in the beginning. She kind of just let me do whatever, that I think it was a good thing. I had a lot of freedom. As time progressed and I became successful, I started to feel like my mom was using me so that she could live a more luxurious lifestyle. When I started to set like these boundaries, not giving her money or things like that, it made our relationship a bit more difficult and almost toxic. And so it sucks. I don't have a mom anymore. I don't talk to her. I miss having a mom. I feel like you can't rewind and you can't go back. I don't have that relationship with her anymore. I don't ever think I will. And that bums me out. Bums me out a lot. I talked to my dad and he struggles with my, my job being in the industry. He's also religious. Recently, I wanted to go visit him and he said that I, I can't go visit because his wife, my stepmom, doesn't want me there. I'm not allowed to go visit my dad anymore. Because uh, my tell her to go shove a fucking fist up her ass. The old stepmom doesn't want you to see him. Fuck you, bitch. What? What? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Stepmom? You ain't got control. That's your dad. You gotta tell your dad fucking... Tell that, tell your wife to shut the fuck up at that point. What? You're not, your your stepmom's telling, your, your dad's wife is telling him that he's not allowed to see his own daughter. What in the controlling ass wife is that?
she's telling him you can't see your daughter. Fuck you. What? My stepmom doesn't like that I do porn, but then he told me that when I was like, can we like go get coffee and like we go like get breakfast? And he's like, I don't want to be seen in public with you. Okay, and never mind. Fuck both of them. They suck. They suck. Fuck them. Fuck them. Fuck them. That's whack. No, nah, that's actually crazy. Holy shit. Nah, being her in public though would be stressed out, dude. Especially when you see people staring at you and shit. You're, she's in the back of her head like, I'd be worried if I was her. I'd be scared if I was her, dude. You're a fucking female porn model. You're walking around in public and shit. Same with, like, o uh, big OF girls, like Amaranth and them. Like, if she's walking around in public and some dude's just in the corner, like, eyeing her down. Like, she knows why he knows her. Liquid for the three. White for the four. Uh, to WWF. Gotta love wildlife. By the way, you got me into philosophy. Dub, BR killer for the sub trap for the fucking 15. Also, what are we at? Oh, we're at $1,629. Uh, we hit buy item chat, uh, buy item of chat's choice. Uh, we'll go over that at the end of this. Right when we get through this shit. Beast Saul Goodman for the 50 subs! Thank you for the fucking 50 gifted space, Saul Goodman, one, two, three, four. You've been popping out with the subs recently. I don't even know, was it yesterday's stream or the stream? I think it was the stream before. Thank you for the fucking subs, base Saul Goodman, you motherfucking goat. 50 fucking subs, goddamn menace. Dub in the chat for that. Thank them if you give a sub. Thank you for the fucking 50 gift. It's all time top dono or gub sub gifter or 1913 subs to the channel. Wow. OX Vaxi for the sub. Or OX, yeah, OX Vaxi XO for the sub. Wow. Thank you for the gift heads. Not just. And it was yesterday? It was not yesterday. What did we do yesterday? Fuck. Don't tell me. Minecraft and uh, content warning. It wasn't yesterday. I think it was the horror day. I think it was the day before that. I think it was Wednesday. It was either Wednesday or Monday that Baseball Goodman popped out. Oh, I got this, by the way. It came in. I don't even know what he's holding. World's best lawyer cup. Face for the one. The WWF. You've helped me through a lot. Love joining the streams and watching you on YouTube for a while. I don't know for the sub. Dub. Being hurt, so. When are you getting a jiggle machine? We're going to do a poll on what I should buy because we hit the milestone right when I get through this video. So bad. Liquid for the three. My dad passed recently from heart disease. Rip in the chat, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I wanted to say your VODs have really helped me. This is my first stream. Well, welcome to the stream. And it sucks. I lost and I'm my sorry for your father's passing. Family. I don't talk to, like, my brothers or sisters. I think that they all kind of, like, try to take advantage of me and stuff. Or they're just, like, my dad don't want to be around me. So even with all the horrific things going on in the industry, why work in it? Many of these women choose to work in this career. Well, Most money. of them can also choose not to, right? Well, it's not that straightforward. Like I've said, many of the people who pick this path are extremely young. Listen, we don't tend to make the best decisions when we're young. They see the promise of money, fame, and a rock star lifestyle, and they immediately jump into it without a second thought. Many of these production companies target these young women for that specific reason. And lots of other people genuinely just do it for the money, not necessarily because they want to. Like, for example, Brianna Coppage was a teacher in St. Louis, Missouri, and really loved her job, but being a teacher was not enough to pay the bills. She started OnlyFans as a side hustle and ended up making more than double her salary as a teacher. She had no intention to leave her job as a teacher, but once the school found out about her account, she was fired. And she then focused on doing OnlyFans full time because it was her only option. And it's a damn shame that she was only doing it to get the bills paid, not because she liked doing it. Now, the industry has improved over time and has learned from history. Many recruiters and production companies- Do you think OnlyFans models should be allowed to be teachers? I think that's a much more complicated question. 
I think I think in the sense of if they're teaching at the grade level where students will look them up, no. If you're like a preschool teacher, that's different, right? Do you know what I mean? Like if you're like an elementary school teacher, your students aren't going to fucking know who you are. They're not going to Google you, right? But if you're like a high school teacher, no. Because then the students are going to sexualize the teacher. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. It's not even... It's more so it, the, just the weirdness that the student... I, I don't even think it's necessarily, oh, the teacher's unsafe for the student. Like, I don't think that the, the, the teacher doing OnlyFans is like, oh, now they're unsafe to be teaching kids. It's more so like, hey, those high schoolers are going to be like... Miss <laughs> Appletree does fucking OnlyFans. I saw her asshole the other day. Like, that, that's what it would be, right? Some dickhead ass fucking student. Companies act much more and the parents. To their yeah, the parents would get mad for sure. I don't think it's like a safety concern now. Like motherfuckers acting like it's like oh, it's gonna be a fucking safety issue. Crew. People who hire these actresses fully make sure that they are only doing it because they are passionate about the business and don't want them to make a mistake. <laughs> apple tree. I just said apple tree, but I didn't know. I didn't know the teacher's last name that I could think of. Yo, base saw Goodman for the fucking hundred subs! What the fuck, dude? Oh my god, WVED, I'm not even fucking playing the rest of that. Dude, base saw Goodman, you motherfucker. Fucking a hundred subs to my goddamn chat, 150 subs total today. Liquid for the three, my dad, I already read that. What the fuck? Base for the fucking subs. You do not need to be popping into the fucking chat with all those subs, base saw Goodman. Also, I prompt you, do not gift any more subs this stream. If you plan on gifting any subs, please donate to the charity instead, Base Saul Goodman. You know, I'm not saying you need to. I'm saying if you plan on giving any more subs today, don't. Uh, and for my other chatters, exclamation point, WWF, World Wildlife Fund charity stream. Great charity. Thank you for the subs. Appreciate that shit. 100 subs to the fucking chat is nuts, dude. I appreciate that shit. That is actually insane. Thank you for the fucking subs, brother. Oh, my God. I thought man was going to say WWE. No, WWF. Thank you for the fucking subs, though. Dub in the chat for fucking Baseball Goodman. You actual menace. Appreciate that. Uh, anyway, spook for the sub. Chat. We reached the milestone for the charity of buy items of chat's choice. What item do you guys want me to buy for stream? We already bought the auto steering wheel thing. It just came in. I bought a Turbo Master for, like, uh, racing and shit. We're going to do, like, drunk driving on stream. Not actual driving a car. I'm going to be driving, like, a fake, like, a wheel. Right? Not. I'm not actually going to get in my car and drive drunk. I would. <laughs> that would be kind of crazy. But, um... Okay, everybody's just saying a jiggle machine. I didn't even need to fucking pull you guys. Let me look for a jiggle machine. Jiggle machine. I'm Googling jiggle machine. Vibration vibration plate exercise machine whole body workout. $119. They got one for $90, but that shit looks ass. They got one for $60, bucks, chat. How bad do you think that's going to be? I, I want to cheap out on this, chat. I really want to cheap out on the Jiggle Machine. I'm never going to use it. We're going to use it like one time, and then it's just going to be fucking stupid after that. The best pick is $69.99. Vibration plate exercise machine, full body workout vibration platform with loop bands and remote control. I need to see how much this is going to make me jiggle. I need one with a lot of vibration. I don't got a lot going on back there. Workout vibration tool and a wood plank. Well, I mean, I'm buying a workout vibration tool. What do you mean? Why do I need to buy a wood plank? What is that going to do? Is that going to make me vibrate more? Is that going to make me vibrate more if I get a wood plank? Make it a channel redemption? Should I make the Jiggle Machine a channel redemption? This one looks like it's really got shit going on here. Vibration platform. This one looks like it's probably fucking jiggling, dude. 
Vi I'm going to just look up vibration. Vibration platform. This one looks good. Ooh, this one looks good. Okay, I'm buying it. Thirty one vibration. Three vibration modes. They got a strong speed ninety. Yeah, I'm buying it. It'll be here Monday. Let us see it. You'll see it when it comes in. The fuck? You want to see a picture of it? The fuck's that going to do? I just bought it. All right. Lock back in. Phase for the one uh, to WWF. Keep up. Uh, keep it up. Love you, man. Epic for the three. According to my calculation, I've given 1,700 and 200 bits. 17,200 bits. How the, why did I say that so stupidly? Converting to 265 AUD or 172 USD, that means I've given you enough money to buy 8.1 grams of weed, assuming weed costs $20 a gram for you. Spook for the sub. Uh, I mean, that really depends where I'm buying weed, but yeah. I mean, I'm not going to use the money that you gave me to buy weed. And you also have to remember that I, you gave me a hundred. I mean, you did give me that, which is crazy, bro. That's actually a, a shitload of bets. So thank you for that. But keep in mind, uh, I pay taxes, right? I am. I know I always make the joke that I'm a streamer, uh, but I lose about, you know, 50% of what I make to uh, the old government. But lock in here. The horrors of incel gooners. Pop a meat video. Lock in chat. Oh, 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 and then we have like two more. Or actually, we have three more after this. I'm so old. Welcome back to the Papa Meat Channel. How you doing? Oh, oh, oh. There's so many words and phrases being thrown around on the internet and comment sections and other kinds of places and humor that I'm I'm lost. Yeah, I'm books maxing, munting, edge maxing, gooning. Goon maxing, jelking. What are the what are these terms that people are throwing around? Are they are they like new board games that the youngsters are playing? I'm not really understanding what these mean, right? I had one of my friends the other day tell me I should be munting, right? I'm not really I don't really know what munting means. Somebody told me to search up one word. I'm not even gonna say it before I know the definition of it. He said, look up figging. Figging is the practice of inserting a piece of skinned ginger root into the human anus in order to generate an acute burning sensation. Absolutely lost in my old age. Words like gooning, edging, canthal tilt. Yeah, I, I got a negative canthal tilt. I don't know what the f it, 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 people use it in normal conversations as if this is normal uh, nomenclature just for anybody. It seems it, it, it's odd. And when looking more into it, try to keep up with these. Look God up igluing. Stop. Okay, stop getting me to look up these terms. They're too interesting. Urban Dictionary. To shit in a condom and freeze it. What is the point of that? Shitting in a condom and freezing it and then inserting it into a partner's rectum and causing waves of chilling tension in the coming process. Stop. That's so gross. That's so gross. That's so fucking gross. Oh my god. Damn you. Why do you know that term? Why do you know that term? Where did you learn that term? Right? I learned munting from TikTok. Where did you learn igluing? You need to look up you need to look at true rate me on Reddit. It'll be the worst things you've ever read. I'm not looking at that. I found Sorry out that it's sub. all kind of derivative of something called looks maxing. Looks maxing is a very, very popular trend right now. On 
Dude, but nobody actually fucking sits there and goes. I do. You're a mewer. Base Saul Goodman for the ten dollar donor to WWF. I recently I recently got into working out. That's fucking dope, bro. You go to a gym or you just do like uh calisthenic cardio type stuff. On YouTube and TikTok and all these other places, and it's kind of embedded in male culture. How to look like a model as an average guy. Yeah, just start smoking cigarettes. Chad, if you want to look good, Chad, if you want to look good, you want to look like a model like this, like this guy right here, just start smoking fucking unfiltered cigarettes. Just fucking camelbacks. Like 40 a day. And it's kind of embedded in male culture. Yeah, the females, they do looks maxing too. Who gives a shit, dude? We need to talk about the real fucking juggernauts of this. The real people who hurt and suffer more than anyone else. Me and the boys, aka the incel community. Hey, if you're an incel, stand up. Be proud. This one's for us, guys. There, there's level of obviously- Isn't he married? Or some shit? He's not an incel irony and other kinds of humor in it but it is a very real thing and it's something that i am going to uh take into consideration moving forward with my own looks because i'm a morbid morbidly obese piece of shit i even got my uh my my face evaluated by a giga chad um and he this was the score not good <laughs> he got a three out of ten <laughs> who the fuck rated him who the fuck you got it you just got a random giga chad to give you a looks max rating other kinds of humor in it but it is a very real thing and it's something that i am going to uh take into consideration moving forward with my own looks because i'm a morbid morbidly obese piece of shit i, even I would not say papa meat is morbidly obese i would honestly say papa meat's a good looking guy i think he rocks the curly hair and he had he kind of has like the the cool rock look my face evaluated by a giga chat clean up the beard ad um and he this was the score not good. Looks maxing is the practice to maximize one's look. And most importantly, when you're a looks maxer, your goal is mogging, which means to be more physically attractive than someone else. It's very petty, and that's why I love it so much. Looks maxing is actually a pretty old trend from around 2015 that popped up on a forum called lookism.net. It was mostly associated with incels trying to blame all of their problems on not being attractive enough to get some pussy. So the idea of looks maxing was born, which is kind of interesting because I will say in a lot of incel communities, usually there's no kind of self growth happening, which is the opposite of looks maxing. They're upset. I am upset. I am married. And I'm I'm upset i get no pussy all right dude <laughs> and nearly a decade later looks maxing has now spread to tiktok and youtube and the toxicity of the culture has been growing absolutely bro everybody always just says i look like this kid bro i don't even remember his name chris hall everybody always says i look like this motherfucker but he puts the face stretch on and it makes his chin big and it, so it's mean right it's mean that people say that to me he does look like you bro he's white He's a white guy. He's a white guy with a jawline, but he has a fucking face stretch filter. And so it like kind of look, yeah, he kind of looks like my brother. He kind of looks like my brother. Yeah. Fine. Okay. YouTube and the toxicity of the culture has been growing absolutely rampant, which, you know, some people say toxicity. I say the good word. Because to mog is to live, is what I would say. If you're not mogging, what the fuck are you really doing? There's a prominent forum called looksmax.org where young, insecure people, like myself, will desperately try anything to increase- Money making and success. Looksmax questions. Dive into discussions on fitness, grooming, style, and cosmetic enhancements and elevate your appearance. 2.5 million posts? This looks like an off-brand Facebook. Sir, SMV, SMV, aka sexual market value. It's like Wolf on Wall Street. All over again, baby. There's a guy named Wheat Waffles who will rate your SMV for a very small price. And I think it's actually worth it, which I want to say I paid the fucking price, and this is what he had to say. Thanks, Wheat Waffles. Gooneon, Gooneon isn't sharp enough. What does that even mean? Men just got it, dude. Honestly, can I just be real for a second, Nick? And just, like, cut the bullshit. We, we don't have to clue this in, honestly. I'm just saying, just, like, cut it if it's bad. But I just want to talk about men because they just have it harder. Like, I don't know. True. I'm tired of, like, I go on these forums with women and they're like, oh, I don't look at it. Dude, I hate women! So let's take a look at some of the techniques to increase your SMV. And also, if you're a woman, get out of here!
Get the hell out! Today's video is sponsored by Fume. If you have any unhealthy habits, I gotta skip it. I'm sorry, Papa Meat. I love Papa Meat so much. Top top three favorite YouTuber, but I'm skipping an ad. I'm skipping an ad. If I wasn't if I wasn't streaming, I'd watch it. Send off your order today. Thanks, Fume, for sponsoring the video, and back to the video. Which first on maxing. our long, long list is soft maxing. These are lifestyle changes that include basic care to your hygiene and aesthetic presence, such as going to the gym, getting a haircut, and moisturizing. That's right, I said moisturizing. It's no longer- But that's not insane. Like, like, when I think of looks maxing, I'm thinking of those guys that are like, you have to fucking mew all day. Chew, chew fucking six packs of big league gum. Never don't have gum in your mouth. Run fucking 10 miles every day, all day. Fucking go to the gym for four hours. When you're fucking working at the cash register, do cab raises during your breaks, right? Only eat unseasoned beef and rice. Like, that's fucking just to the point of like, okay, bro, now, now you hate your wife, so you look good. Longer. Like, you telling me get a haircut and fucking don't smell like poop? Okay, yeah. That's a reasonable advice. Considered gay. Back in my day, if I would have brought some lotion or if I would have told, hey, I got some aloe vera, I'm going to put it on my arms, people would say you're gay. And I think that actually drops my SMV. Correct? Nick? Thank you. It's basic hygiene and wearing clothes that fit you. No longer. I need to buy a tongue scraper, bro. I need to buy a tongue scraper so fucking bad. I've been scraping my tongue with my retainer. <sighs> In the morning, bro, pop that bitch out. Just go <laughs> take that shit. Just because I'm not, yo, I don't want to buy a ton. Same. Thank you, Brady. Thank you. Bro said, bro said same. Thank you, Brady. Brady, Brady, everybody, Brady, Brady scrapes his tongue with his retainer as well. He said he needs to buy one. Oh, no, he meant, he meant same. He needs to buy one, bro. It's just because, like, keep that to yourself. Bitch, I fucking was on stream and scraped my tongue with a fucking... Uh, water bottle cap one day. Is my tongue white right now? Hold up, let me swallow. How do you get it back there, bro? I can't do it. I can't do it. I brush my tongue all... Of all I brush my tongue for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes. And if I get back there, I gag. Like back there where it's white, I can't brush it. I can't- STOP MAKING THOSE FUCKING EMOJIS! I swear to god if you fucking type that stupid ass... ...emoji. The fuck out of here, I'm trying, okay? I- my- my breath don't smell, I've been using mouthwash, I've been fucking brushing my teeth all the damn time. I can't get it back there, I think it's just the color of my tongue. That was- that was spit, hold up. I also haven't eaten in like, six hours. I just zoomed in more. Awkward. Who sees your tongue? I'm not worried about motherfuckers seeing my tongue white. I just don't want my fucking breath to stank. You know? I be scrubbing my teeth and shit. I got naturally yellow teeth. And motherfuckers say, oh, you got yellow ass teeth, Joe. Sorry I ain't getting that stupid ass, stupid fucking purely white deluxe fucking dumbass Snapchat, Instagram, real market type dumb shit. I'm not buying a fucking $150 blue light that's gonna fucking artificially make my teeth white, bitch. As long as my teeth are healthy, I go to the dentist every six months and that motherfucker says I do good on brushing. They say I need to floss my teeth. But that's not, that's different. I don't floss my teeth because that's boring as fuck. Care for the two. Look up fetching? No. See all for the three. Been following for two years. I haven't really said crap. I didn't say hi for the first time. Dub. You have tight. If you're if you're a big guy like me, get, get get veneers. I hate when people get veneers, bro. That shit looks fake as fuck. You look like you got fuck. You look like you got that that wine thing. What's that thing where it's like a tooth and it goes and it goes. <laughs> veneers don't look like teeth, right? They look like flat white strips. That are in the shape of teeth. They don't look like teeth, dude. Like, if you look at my teeth, I got teeth, right? They're, like, shaped differently. 
They look like they just got flat chompers. Dude, you go by- Yeah, the old chatters. They look like dentures, yeah. No, but even dentures look more real than veneers. Hey, clothes, you're not a medium. I've been there, dude. Hey, I'm living it. When I had to take the step from 2X to 3X, sad day, sad day. Now we're gonna be talking about some uh, techniques that will alter your physical appearance in some unusual ways. So please come with me, come with me. Come on, it's like a back alley deal. No, oh, come on, seriously, no one's looking, come on. Starting off with the jaw and face, AKA your money maker. The first category is improving the fucking jawline. You've probably seen people on the internet you know, do the thing where they show off their- Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's the name of that song? Where they go? Dude, that shit's so stupid. And they always have the face stretch filter on, so their jaw's like all the way out here. Your giga chad shin and stuff like that. It's like basically saying, hey, are you in the club? Look at me, dude. See this? I'm working on it, dude. I'm not I feel like most of it's a meme, though. Are there people that really take looks maxing, like, seriously? Every video I see about that shit is just fucking somebody joking. There's people that are actually like, I need a looks max better. I think that my SMV is high. It's on the rise, but it's not high. Moth for the 10 to WWF. Would you ever play Fort or other games with subs? Uh, if it was like custom games, yeah. So I'm still working on that. I have to lose about, it shouldn't be that bad, about 120 pounds. It shouldn't be that bad. I just have to lose. I have to lose the weight of like an average elementary school student. Mewing. You're probably thinking Pokemon. Wrong. I, said I only have to lose 120 pounds. <laughs> and he just looks at the camera. Looks maxing 101, dude. And it's named after its creator, Dr. Mike. Mew. This is a facial reconstruction technique that involves placing your tongue on the roof of your mouth to change the shape of your jawline. Some of the benefits include Would this. that actually change the shape of your jawline, though? What, you're, all day you're just supposed to be like... It doesn't do anything for me. I'm not trying to brag, okay? But... Wait, let me, let me do a side profile. This. Realigning your teeth so you don't have no You're bucket. always mewing. I'm not mewing. Ass teeth. Improve facial aesthetics so you get that chiseled Giga Chad jaw. And it stops you from becoming a mouth breather. If you're a mouth breather and you're a fucking- Actually, I do have my tongue on the roof of my mouth, like, naturally. Wait, no, most people don't do that? Like, if I'm sitting still, this is- my tongue's here. Like, at the roof of my mouth. Like, always. How the fuck do you mew then? I'll go back of the line, get the SMV up. You're not a mog man yet. Mew immediately. I have sleep apnea and that does not help my SMV. I want to see some before and afters, dude. 20 months mewing plus hard mewing. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. Beautiful man. But you can tell he's flexing his jaw and he shaved his face and he got a different haircut, right? I, I think a lot of it's just not you're not changing your bone structure you just look better because you you changed your haircut you shaved your face right and you took a better angled photo and you went like this and smv way Flexed up your jaw you know i would say that he was a pretty handsome guy to begin with but that jawline now unbelievable next yeah up he looks like he'd cheat on me he went from, like, wholesome gamer to, like, frat guy. But that jawline now, unbelievable. Next up is gum chewing. The practice of gum chewing is to strengthen and sharpen one's jawline. What you're probably like, is that mewing? Dude, no. 
Were you listening? Some people recommend chewing gum for 16 hours a day to get chiseled jaw. And they make very hard gum. You can buy extremely hard pieces of gum just for this exercise, just to get those fucking muscles right here. Nice and buff, dude. Mastic gums are considered to be the best, which is- Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Gotta respond to my manager. All right, ACS uh, for the sub moth for the 10. It's eight to 11 times harder than the normal gum. Look at that. Looks like fucking, I don't know if I, I think I'll just stick. Eight to 11 times harder than the average gum. I feel like that'd be fucking so unenjoyable to chew. To mewing maybe. But there are some drawbacks, which you can develop TMJ and grind down your teeth into baby teeth. When you're, when you're trying to become a god, there's always going to be some, some bumpy steps along the way. But the people who persevere and who don't end up getting baby teeth or TMJ, they're the champions. Next one up is Gua Sha, which I've seen this. I've seen, I feel like I've seen people roll these on uh, dogs' heads and stuff. Which Gua Sha is a traditional Chinese healing method in which a trained professional uses a smooth edge tool to stroke your skin while they press on it. You've been rolled around by a Chinese guy? Well, you could do it yourself or I'd. I still like getting mine from the Chinese guy. And my SMV, like I said, it's on the rise. Where's your SMV? Your SMV pretty good? This may reduce inflammation, reducing chronic pain, but it's mostly used to get sharp jaw lines once again, dude. You think there's just a couple tricks in the books? Do you of think course. that actually helps, though? Like, is there, like, proof that you rubbing a rock on your skin is going to make your fucking jaw better? It's not, dude. Whenever Da Vinci made David, did he just slap the stone around a couple times? No. You gotta roll around. You gotta treat it right until it becomes absolutely perfect. Dave, David, the statue definitely the was a mogger. I can't speak for Da Vinci. Yes, Da Vinci was a good artist, but from what I saw in some of the pictures or paintings of him, old boy SMV was low. I don't really know if he was a mogging man himself. Next up, we also have thumb pulling, which thumb pulling is a technique that involves inserting both thumbs in the mouth and pulling the palate apart against the back third of the palate. So it's going back. Oh, you pull your mouth open? The goal is to create more space in the mouth and stimulate maxilla bone growth, dude. You, 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 your teeth. So I got, I got. Uh... That can't do shit. That definitely doesn't do shit. People do that. They're essentially a, like a bird, right? You want to pull You're those... just going to be yanking your fucking bone structure. Bad boys out. Belt pulling? Okay, now this is getting weird. And of course, there is belt pulling, which you bite down on a belt and then lift it up. You lift it up over your head. And uh, you know, there's some drawings of, of how to do this too. Let's just look at some of these, they're pretty good. This is haunting. First off, he put a lot of time in those eyes. That is fucking crazy. Dude, we, th when we did the medieval torture what device video. What the fuck is that doing for you though? Like you're just biting down on a belt and pulling upward. This is exactly what this is. Look at the look at the fucking uh like the scribbles on there too. Him and he was this is a madman. This is Da Vinci. This He's is saying hold his weight by his fucking teeth, body weight free hang. What Da Vinci wanted to be. I thought that was his asshole for a second when he's bent over, but no. So that's him. And that's him. You put around your knees and you also pull that way too. Oh, this is the artist before and after images. All right, here. So here's before one. What's this guy? He's a good looking guy. And he's got kind of a bit of a dud chin. Let's see afterwards though with the belt pulling. Is this the same man? Looks looks exactly the fucking same belt pulling does nothing and let me know let me tell you why he's doing nothing first image first image here second image no shit that's gonna give you a better jawline you're looking up you're looking up right if you take a picture like this versus this you're gonna fucking look better right that's why half of the people that are trying to fucking look like they have a good jawline are going Because it's going to fucking make you look better. He also changed his haircut and took off his glasses. That's it. And then made a face. <laughs> this is the same guy? You know what? He just, yeah, he, I think the old boy just should have grown his hair out. Because I think the long hair also accentuates. No, I'm, it was the belt pulling. I think it was a good deal, dude. I'll tell you a quick story about how I fucked my face up five years ago. I took a fucking belt, bit down on that shit, and started yanking it from my face with my arms. It didn't feel very good, so I lifted up my legs and put the ends around my feet, started pulling hard as possible, and felt a pop. <sighs> I, I looked in the mirror and my face appeared forward as fuck. I was ecstatic. I finally found how to, to I finally found how to ascend hard. 
Praise be to you, brother. A, 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 a true, a true mogger. So no every day, this guy fucking bites down on a belt and pulls it. No matter what he says through and through, the SMV is way up, and his belt chewing is only proof of that. I tried this for a week and then took a break. Within two fucking days, it all collapsed and, re and reverted. Whoa! It was worse than before, and I literally looked like my face had shrunk. Don't pull your Maxilla. Just get a expander or MSE. Wow. Oh my God. Next up, we have carrot maxing, which is a practice of consuming extreme amounts of carrots and foods with beta carotene in order to get that. Well, that is actually good for your skin. I think that's more of just a health tip. Orange glow. It is recommended to eat around seven large carrots a day or about seven. Seven large carrots a day? Pounds of carrots. <laughs> seven pounds. <laughs> that can't be healthy. That's probably actually unsafe. Wasn't there a guy that died from drinking so much carrot juice? <laughs> You know, you want to hear something? Uh, like 10 years ago, I was doing that. You actually, like, literally, you were eating tons of carrots to get a glow? Oh, yeah. It just makes you orange, though. It's supposed to make you look a little tan, but... A little tan? Well, why don't you just tan? Well, is it because of the damage that UV rays do? So this is a more holistic way of going about it? Okay, well, I can see the mog aspect of that. Let's move on to the eyes! Which the eyes... Windows of the soul, dude. Very, very important when you're, when you're thinking about doing looks maxing, all right? Have you ever heard of the Canthal Tilt? Oh, wait. This is the angle you of your- fix a canthal tilt, though? That's literally just your genetic bone structure. Your eyes are oriented on your face, dude, which we have a little a thing here, which is positive, looking more assertive, more dominant, neutral. You look like, you know, you, you, not intimidating, but you could be passable. And of course, negative, you look sad. Yeah, chat, do I got a, do I got a negative, do I look sad? Do I got a negative canthal tilt? Chat, is it over? Chat, do I have a negative canthal tilt? That shit does not matter. That shit does not matter. I can't tell. And that's going to take your SMV down. Fuck, couple, man. Fuck. Couple points. Definitely. Fuck, dude. Okay. Is my can't all tell? Is Joe it is Hunter eyes. What does that even mean? Positive. <laughs> Editor, put like a line to see. Yeah, I feel like it's literally just the way your face is looking. Like, if you're like this. Like, if you're fucking like tilted. Got that psychopath oh, stare. That's a positive thing. I was going to say it's either neutral or negative. It's negative? <laughs> Those are negative. <laughs> it's negative. Fuck! He just like, he like goes and sits in the corner, starts crying. He's like, what am I going to do, man? What am I going to fucking do? If can't all tell it, apparently me are called prey eyes. These make you look weak and vulnerable, which I don't look weak and vulnerable, dude. I bet you there's been so many people who watch my videos and are like, I could fuck him up. And you know what I have to say that too? I'd be like, Psst. Stop. Outside of surgery, there's no way to change your canthal tilt, and that doesn't mean people aren't trying. Here are some exercises that are paraded around. Squint maxing. I look like I'm gonna shit myself. How is that fixing? How is that fixing it? To help with your eyes, you can do squint maxing, which do a hundred partial squints before bed and try to hold squints. A hundred every day? I gotta go. Bro, deadass, if you, okay, this all, this just, this shit just seems stupid. You want to look better, get a better haircut, shower and go to the gym. Boom. Boom. Work out. Maybe chew gum. What the fuck? If you have fucked up teeth, get braces. What the fuck is this? I'm going to I'm going to sit in my bed every night and go, mm, 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 that I'm 100 times throughout the day to train your eyes to strengthen those muscles which I'm going to start doing fucking tonight. I'm going to do one of these. You can eye pull, which pull in the corner of your eyes to change the orientation of your canthal tilt. Here's a video of that. I don't I don't see how that would really work, but I'm going to see it anyways. Negative canthal tilt. Here we go. And the guys that always make the tutorials for these videos look good, right? And so it, like, gets people to believe them. But, like, this shit hasn't worked for this guy. This guy just looks like this. Right? 
This guy just looks like this. And he's telling you, hey, if you go... That's gonna fix your fucking skin. No, it won't. That's not gonna fucking change your eye shape. In the corner of your eyes to change the orientation of your Canthal tilt. Here's a video. I think it's good. I think I'm done. Hard maxing? Oh, we've God. We've done the jaw, the face, and now we've done eyes. But now it's time to move on to hard maxing, which going to more extremes and changing your appearance via cosmetic surgeries, limb lengthening surgeries, and steroids. Come on, boys. Make the tough decisions. You know what you, you know. Can you actually do it without help? Sometimes steroids you Steroids might make you look worse. Steroids can have side effects that give you, like, fucking massive acne and, like, fuck up your face. Like, you could, you could look, your body, yeah, you're going to get more jacked, but you might look uglier on, your face is probably going to look uglier on steroids. A fucking doctor's hand to help, you know what I mean? So spit Chief said I need to leave, have a good stream. I'll see you, Chief. 100K hard maxing to go from ugly to average. I spent most of it on multiple jaw and chin surgeries. Had a very recessed chin, but a very wide jaw and uh, hypertrophied masseter. Jesus Christ, dude. Some <laughs> of it's just bone structure. Dude, I mean, like some of it, it you can't control. I mean, you you could focus on the things that I, what I would say is if you if you're worried about how you look, be proud in how you look, but focus on the things you can control. If you're sitting there trying to change your fucking bone structure, dude, I mean, yeah, if you have the money to get those surgeries, whatever, do whatever the hell you want with your fucking life. But like, if your if your chin's like I already I have like a abnormally long chin, right? Like if you look at my chin, my chin protrudes. Like when I work out and I'm doing shoulder press, I hit my chin every fucking time. But I, that's just bone structure. Like you can't get a. I couldn't. I couldn't recede my chin more into my body. It's my fucking bones. Hair transplants to bring my six head down to a four and a half head. <laughs> I also got two rhinoplasties and a full body liposuction. God damn. That's getting obsessed. That looks bad. That looks bad. Like I'm not. Like he looks like a Ken doll. Dude, this is Ken. We're talking about Ken right here. I always told myself I just want to be average. If I can get to average, it would all be worth it, and I won't have any more surgery then. Well, now I do believe I am average. I'm very happy about it. Thank God for modern medicine. But now I wish I, I were attractive. I spent so long thinking I'd be happy being average that I never expected to be somewhat dissatisfied when I reached my goal. But now I see how attractive- now, I don't want to judge how people look, right? But when people go and they change how they look and they get so much plastic surgery that they look like a fucking plastic doll, like that's not, you're not achieving what you wanted. You're just, pu you're pumping your face with like chemicals to make it more full or more defined and then it just ends up looking unnatural if girls are treated and it just looks so much more fun however my body can't take any more surgery nor can i tolerate it mentally so average it is has anyone experienced the same thing after hard maxing Whew. the man's the man's mog is so high and it's a shame that he values his smv so low that's a fucking crazy that's like a greek tragedy teddy roosevelt Fish for the five. Love watching your videos going to boot camp. Uh, won't be able to tune in for a couple months. Well, good luck. Milk uh, for the three to WF, uh, WWF. It's supposed to be a happy stream. How do you cope with failing to accomplish your dreams? Dude, you're probably like fucking 16. Failing to accomplish your dreams? You got to make other goals, right? Every goal you make, you're not going to hit. I always say, yeah, you want to strive towards your dreams, but I mean, you're going to be let down if you only have one fucking thing you want to accomplish in life. Set other goals, right? Set five goals. Strive towards one. If you miss, go to the next, right? I'm not, you shouldn't spread yourself too thin to where you never accomplish anything. But if you only have one goal in your mind and if you don't reach it, you're going to fucking hate your life. That's, that's your mindset, right? It's not, yeah, you didn't reach the goal that you wanted to achieve. There may have been other ways that you could have gotten there or could still get there. But outside of that, I mean, yeah, if, you, if, if I'm fucking going into my life being like, I have to be a NASA astronaut. I have to be a NASA astronaut. And then I don't get into fucking astronaut school or whatever the fuck it is. Like, yeah, I'm going to be fucking depressed. That's my only goal I ever made for myself. Make other goals. Do other things, right? Have other fucking aspirations in life. I didn't reach a lot of the goals I had. I really wanted to go to college for fucking track. I broke my foot. I had D1 offers. I fucking cried. I remember I cried when I fucking broke my foot. Dead ass. It's fucking junior in high school. Went to the doctor. He was like, yeah, you fucking broke your foot. I was like, well, that sucks. I'm not going to fucking run in college now. Made another goal, right? Started getting more big in the gym. Like, I, some some things you can't control in life. Then you set other goals. Fuck it, strive towards them. Gojo for the eight to WWF. Been watching for a while. Love your streams. Love what you're doing for charity. Thank you. ACS for the sub. Moth for the one. I already read that. Had a great, uh, had a great quote. He said, I have never 
In my life, envied a human being who led an easy life. I envied a great many people who led difficult lives and led them well. That wasn't the quote I was thinking. It should be something like, envy is the thief of joy. I think also part of mocking is self-confidence in yourself and raising other boys up, dude. Making sure the men feel good around you, man. You know what I mean? I wish I could give this guy a hug. I'd buy this guy a drink. Leg lengthening. Some of the other ones for hard maxing, there is leg lengthening surgery, which is during a leg lengthening procedure, the bone is purposely broken. Surgeons fit a support device either on the outside of the leg or inside the bone that can be stretched one millimeter, three inches, or 0 0.03 inches every day. That's from Business Insider. What the fuck are they writing about over there at Business <laughs> Insider, dude? Jesus. Another issue, if the leg becomes overlengthened, the patient will struggle to walk. But then won't your body structure look weird? You have dimensions, right? Like you have, like your torso, I mean, some people have longer torsos or shorter legs, but if I'm like, I want to be taller and I make my fucking knee to foot area three inches bigger, I'm going to look weird. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna walk funny. I'm, my center of balance is gonna be fucked up. Walk and certainly cannot run. It is also costly with the prices starting around thirty thousand per leg. How fucked is that? Dude, don't give me a fucking I'll just do one this time. Just give it just fucking price it like it's both your legs. You're not gonna just do one, dude. Which this guy went from five eleven to six six? Oh dude. Five eleven to six six. But it makes his, like, his legs just look lanky. They look unnaturally long. He already had a very long torso, so it worked for him. Like, he had shorter legs and a long torso. This worked, right? Like, right here, he could get more muscle on his legs. But, like, this is just, why would you want to be, se number one, why would you want to make yourself grow seven inches? Dude. That is crazy. Kind of reminds me of this episode of uh, Tales from the Crypt where this rich old man keeps buying- 5'11". Like, that's not even short. That's <laughs> not- that's not even short, right? I would get more somebody being like 5'4 to 6 foot. Buying body parts from this buff guy because he wants to impress this bitch. This woman. That wasn't very- was that Mog of me? Is calling a woman a bitch, is that Mog? 5'3 to 5'9. Yeah, the 5'3 to 5'9. It looks pretty natural. I just- oh, I'm just thinking about my legs like- I wonder how bad it hurts. Oh, probably I probably hurts actually, like I mean, you know what I'm going to say? Actually, yeah, if you feel insecure about yourself, get a very expensive procedure done. You'll feel great. Bone smashing, which this one's free, <laughs> but you, I, if you're a professional, maybe, but I don't know about this one. Which bone smashing is the practice of hitting yourself in the face with hammers, bottles, massagers, and other blunt objects in the pursuit of of beauty. This is based on Wolf's Law. It states that bones and healthy animals will adapt to the loads placed on them. An example of this is if a bone is loaded more, Yeah, it will there are guys that like kick shit and then they can fucking strengthen their shins to kick like metal rods. It itself over time to become stronger in that way. So yes, you can mew and stuff. You can also take a hammer and beat your face until it, it forms something that you're liking. Facial fractures can... And then you're also like, you're yeah, you might injure yourself and you also might fuck up the balance like say it works but you fucking hammer your right side more than your left result in a whole array of issues from now your face just sucks off to the brain detachment of eyeballs from muscles and eyelid structures collapse of nasal airways or the cheekbones injuries to the ear canals and hearing and more that's my boy dr Urf. Is this a woman? It's, if this is a woman, if we're quoting a fucking woman in this Mog video, I'm going to be very upset. I'm just going to, you know what? It's from a doctor. It's from a doctor. I'll put it on the screen, but I'm not going to say the name. <laughs> I'm not going to mention the woman's name in this Mog video. Next up after that, we have Starve Maxing. I need to take a fucking page out of this book, Okay, dude. that's just starving yourself. That's a, why are we calling that Starve Maxing? You're literally just starving yourself. Good lord. This is essentially starving yourself, and this is uh, nothing new, you know, but the new term, it looks maxing, take over the internet. That also does, like, almost nothing long term. Most people don't realize that. Like, if you just fucking put yourself in such a calorie deficit that you're starving yourself to where you lose weight, the second you start eating again, you're just gonna fucking gain it back. Right? Like, it's not, it's not a long term thing. Yeah, you could starve yourself and lose 10 pounds. When you start eating again, you're gonna fucking gain it back. You're supposed to actually, if you diet correctly, you'll long-term look better and feel better and achieve more. Yeah, like you might have a faster short-term goal. Yeah, because you're fucking not eating for a week.
but that's not going to help you long term. Niskan for the sub. Donnie for the 10 to WWF. Glad to donate to the World Wrestling. Okay, that's it's not the World Wrestling Federation. It is weirdly being praised where it normally would not. Many men in comments congratulate the people starving themselves and encourage them to go on. You got to raise those boys up. You got to make sure and be like, hey, no more food. You're looking great, man. Starve maxing to the most. Especially if you couple that with some mewing and some carrot maxing. I think you're on your way to doing something pretty good. Next yeah, jelking, jelking. I don't know what's going to be worse than jelking. He's at jelking, and there's still five minutes left in the video. Up is jelking. Ancient techniques to stretch the penis to help add size and girth, which I will be copying and saving this one to my phone. So how do you jelk? Put your index finger or thumb in an O shape, like okay. Hands. I don't even. I don't even want to hear him describe this. It's so. It's so uncomfortable to fucking visualize. Place the O shape gesture at the base of your banana. Make the O smaller and smaller until you put mild pressure on your penile shaft. Slowly move your finger and thumb toward the... <laughs> Slowly move your finger and thumb toward the head of your penile unit until you reach the tip. Reduce the pressure if this feels painful. Boy, we're not trying to torture ourselves here, right? We're just trying to get bigger members, which an increase will bring us bigger confidence. All right? Repeat this once per day for about 20 minutes. That is a full workout, dude. 20 minutes? They give the same 20 minutes. Dude, I don't even do cardio for that fucking long. Instructions for a bow flex. All right. <laughs> That's how serious you have to take this. <laughs> Improper techniques can cause damage to soft tissue. So you can develop Peroni's disease. That's a great name for a penile disease, dude, which is scar tissue that can build up and create se uh, severe uh, curvature on the member. Dude, I'm. You might like that. I thought they called that a shooting rainbow. I thought people liked that. <laughs> they called that a shooting rainbow? They have a fucking name for that? Some people have also experienced erectile dysfunction. Liquid for the 300 biddies. Uh, are you doing any more MMA streams? Sometime in the future, probably. Okay, yeah, okay. This has to be the end. Edging and gooning. There's no, there's no other fucking thing that it could be. How is this a part of fucking looks maxing? Next up is probably the one I've seen most commonly and people have probably also seen most commonly, commonly is edging and of course, gooning. Edging is masturbating and stopping yourself before orgasm and then beginning again, keeping yourself close to climax, but never getting there. Gooning is a form of masturbation that involves edging for a long period of time, resulting in hypnotic trance-like states, which masturbation is so intense that it becomes a state of meditation that consumes you and provides endless pleasure. You, you either pair it with overstimming, which is as you possibly can, or edging. There is not one way to goon. They all just have one goal. Be consumed by masturbation and bliss. Here's a couple um, comments yeah. I thought were applicable. Oh Back my God, I November, thought he was going to show like an example or some shit, like some fucking imagery. I was doing the No Nut November challenge, but I edged for every single day of the month. On December 1st. What? First. I started to masturbate and edge like six more times before I I almost passed out from the intensity of that orgasm. I so much, I had to take a bath and look for a towel to clean everything up. No joke, I like four ounces. And of course, the first comment underneath it is just beautiful, which boys, that's what we need to do. We need to boost our boys up. That's an incredible feat. An entire month of edging. Wow. If it was me, I probably, I, I would, well, Nick, here's the thing. Would you say, are you a, are you- Every a, day for a month. Edger, are you a gooner? You said that with a lot of, like, that was a very non-mog way of saying that. You can't just whisper edger, dude. Say it loud and proud, dude. I'm an edger, and I'm proud. You're goddamn right. We've reached it. I didn't think he was going to go. I didn't think he was going to go to it. Uh, God, I hate when my chat brings this shit up, dude. Fucking, are, are, is munting, is munting the new meta? Should, should I be munting? No, 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 no. Don't even look at it. Well, he's gonna fucking explain it. Don't even look it up, dude. Fuck, dude. I don't even want to talk about munting. Next up, we have munting. Munting is a variation of necrophilia involving two living people and one dead person. It can be male or female. It's a corpse. All right, it's a, dead, it's a dead corpse. And if you see someone who munts, you need to stay clear of that guy. I don't think anybody's actually ever munted, though. Do you think anybody's... Uh, this has to be a fucking dead meme. A dead fucking meme, dude. There's no way this has any realistic application. Has any... If anybody's ever actually fucking munted, 
you bring it up, my chat brings it up. It is funny, though, to say, is, M is Munting the new meta? That is funny. But there's no way nobody, somebody's dig, dug up a dead body with her friend and munted. But if you do, this is what this is how to munt if that's a road that you want to go down, which is fine and dig up a semi de decomposed corpse. One person then goes down on said corpse while the other one jumps on the dead person's stomach, causing the juices to be forced out of all orifice. These are drank by the person orally connected to the corpses. Idea stream, idea stream, idea stream, idea stream. You guys send me the weirdest chat sends the weirdest urban urban dictionary words. That will definitely get age-restricted. But it would be funny. Braylon for the sub. That would be, be a great fucking idea. Floating for the 10. Regarding the star of maxing, also it slows your metabolism. I had anorexia for five years. I'm recovered now, but I gained weight so much easier, and now I'm severely, I've severely damaged my organs. Anorexia is not going to help you feel better about yourself. Trust me. Well, thank you for the fucking good advice. And thank you for the 10 to WWF. And uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're better now. Or doing better now. Mr. Bob and Gamba for the sub. Uh, I want to throw up a little bit. And I want to say that this has nothing to do with looks maxing. Like I said, it's just a part of the nomenclature of what we're talking about. And there is a munting subreddit, but you have to literally request you have access. To request to join? No shot. There's actually fucking munters. That's not real. And be granted in to see what's happening. So if anybody has that Pandora's box key, I guess maybe share it with the world because I'm kind of curious if I'm being honest. How is there something under Munting? How is there something under Munting? What the fuck is rope maxing? What is rope which, maxing? Lastly, we have rope maxing, what which, you know, if you do all these changes, you put your heart and soul into it, and you still can't get laid, you resort to ropes maxing, which is basically- Is this just hanging yourself? Unaliving yourself. Oh. If you're a true mocker, and you're trying to get your SMV up, then you will goon yourself into enlightenment, and you will know that your brothers are around you, belt chewing, mewing, hard mewing, carrot maxing, leg lengthening doing everything they can to boost themselves up but then also boost boost their boys up and here's the thing guys because like i said there's no there's no women in here so we can talk candidly it's important to have confidence within yourself i myself am a mogger a goon from time to time hell i'll even edge if i feel like it but one thing that's important is boosting up your fellow man as a man it's a nice club of people where it's easy to feel down on yourself something that women can't understand all right so i would say if you see a man in the street see if he muse compliment a jawline Offer helpful suggestions, right? Most importantly, worry about your own SMV and try to boost all the other SMVs. I mean, it is true that guys don't compliment each other. I know he's making jokes. At the end of the day, he's like definitely he's definitely making jokes because women do have it harder than men. But I, guys don't compliment each other. Women compliment each other. It is like the only time I've ever been complimented by another dude was like at the gym. I had a guy. I like I've had men be like, "Yo, you look good today." Like, you're, you, you know, you're looking big. I'll be like, thanks. Moss for the sub. It's not a they do. You'll compliment your friends randomly. I don't really compliment my homies that much. I might be like, your haircut looks nice, but I'm not going to be like, you look sexy today, right? I'm not going to walk up to my friend and be like, yo, you're looking fucking, you're looking crisp, right? You're looking fucking amazing, right? Competition, boys. It's a lifestyle. Goodbye. What are you that was a good video. That was an interesting video. All right. Hold up. We're going to save. We're going to save some of these for another day. We fucking, we fucking took forever on these videos. We're going to watch the newest Backrooms video. Chat, I got to fucking piss. Count me down. 30 seconds. I know I pissed 40 times. I drank a lot of water.
Max. Lock in here, chat. I'm excited. We saved two videos for another day, but we're going to be watching the new Backrooms video. Choji for the 449 to WWF. Cry Cry for the sub and Moss for the sub. Are we ready to lock in here, chat? New Kane Pixels video. Oldest view dispersal. Do we need a read? Does anyone need a recap from the last Backrooms video? Because this is a continuation six months later. Last Backrooms video was the oldest view which was this video here, right? He basically goes through this hole uh, down these stairs, uh, like in the fucking, like just a random hole in the woods. He finds this endless staircase, fucking walks down it. Opens up into this mall really deep underground. He sees this thing, right? And it starts following him. And right at the end, he fucking falls through, right? But he dies. And it's like right here, he fucking... What is it? Right here. He's like running away from it and it's chasing him and then he falls to his death right before he jumps over and he dies. But apparently there's a continuation off of that. I don't know. The oldest of you dispersal. We'll see what it's about. Fluffiest for the five. This stream flew by fast. It has been a fucking long stream, but it's been a fast stream as well. Chat! Let's lock in for, for this. But also, I'm going to be posted on YouTube right when I end, but uh, we still got this one more video. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to be live at probably 1.30 or 2. We're doing a Sim Day Saturday. Got a lot of Sim games we're playing. We're going to be playing, uh, Storage Hustle, Please Stop Crying, Game Time Glizzies, maybe Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator, and then I Love You Freddy. Well, I, I doubt we're going to play all of them, but we're going to play a bunch of random ass games. It's going to be, like, basically a random game day, but mainly Sim games. Sunday, we're going to be doing, uh, Reacts and Philosophy Reacts at 2. Monday, I'm going to be live, uh, at 4.30 doing, um... Man of a Don. Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, Scary Games. Thursday is Fortnite. Maybe R6. Maybe some other collabs with other streamers as well. Uh, Friday is going to be the Lunchables tier list uh, slash rating review. It's going to be a shorter stream. That's going to be an idea-based stream. A very fun one. Uh, and next Saturday is going to be 420. Probably getting high, doing reacts, playing games and shit. Also, in like a week and a half, we're doing the fucking Twitch Rivals event, by the way, uh, for Minecraft. There's like 150 streamers. And it's going to be like a four-day event. So for like four or five days straight, I might be running Minecraft. I apologize for that, but you guys told me to do the Twitch Rivals event. If we end up not liking it, I can just throw and get out like second day. And then we'll just fucking do other shit. But if it's fun, it's fun. You know, we'll do it. But that's at like 3 EST. But I think that starts the 20, the 24th or the 23rd is the first day. I think it's the 24th. The 24th uh, through the 28th. Matt, for the 10 uh, to WWF, just had uh, surgery. Weird watching your stream on painkillers. Are you tripping right now? Ooh. Oldest view dispersal. Lock in. Door needs WD-40. Yeah, that shit needs to be lubed up. We are around if anybody has any... The fuck am I watching? ...additional questions. Um, thank you for your attendance. Uh, thank you again to all of the uh, um, city council people, to our, our uh, to CC Broadnecks for coming, uh, members of the media and uh, residents, and um, look forward to showcasing your groundbreaking here within the next number of months. Take care. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bro, 
know, city council meetings seem so fucking boring, dude. Just pulling up to one of these bitches and sitting in a fucking plastic chair outside for three hours, listening to a dude yap about a new building they're doing. These aren't real, right? No, these no. This is this is true. This is a true story. Oh, that's him. He's dead. Is he dead? Maybe he's not. Okay, this is where the last one left off, or it's right. This was right at the end on the last. Him running from that oh, thing. Shit! Shit! I would not be able to walk on this. You know how my you know how bad my legs would be shaken? I don't want to say I'm afraid of heights, but if I lean over like a fucking skyscraper or a balcony, I get scared. Not like two stories, but like four stories and up. If I lean over, I'm like, I can't I, I don't even want to be near the edge. Cause I'm like, dude, what if I what if this shit just broke and I fucking fell? That looks like it's about to break. Okay, he made it. So in this one, he makes it. I don't remember this. It's new. In the last one, he just fell to his death. Oh, I'd be fucking sick. Renting up those goddamn stairs. Oh no. It's God, what if he just ends up infinitely running up steps? It just doesn't end. Like, how does he know when he's near the top? Oh. Is it a dead end? No, it's probably more fucking stairs. Oh my god, it's the end. Bitch, start running.
Rose in the Paris Catacombs? Dude, this shit's deeper than that. <laughs> oh, he made it out. What would you tell people? I mean, he would have video evidence. He's gonna see his dead body. Don't tell me he sees his dead self. That would trip me out. Where is he even going? Did he get cut? exhausted well no shit anatomically modern humans have existed for approximately 300,000 years recorded history accounts for roughly 1.6% of this time wow now, I think that actually is true Bitch, look in the car behind you. I'm gonna be fucking. I'm gonna be fucking darting my eyes every fucking direction. I think I was tweaking if that happened to me. He never left. Don't tell me that. He didn't make it out. He didn't make it out. What? He's still in there, bitch. Don't tell me it just ends. I swear to fuck. Something's fucking something's wrong. I feel like most of the time they never get out easily. need somebody to explain that that wasn't the car that wasn't the car at the end that's why it was making that fucking noise like it was a cart wheeling it was the fucking thing the thing that was chasing him in the past video is in I, he's not out of the back rooms he thinks he's out but he's not and the thing is chasing him. Still. Yeah, the rolling giant is chasing him. That's why it was making that fucking noise. And that's his car. It's behind him. Well, now we gotta wait another six months for another update video. Welp! Welp! Alright. Chat, that was a W stream.
I hope you guys had fun watching. I had a fun time streaming. Thank you to everybody that fucking donated to the charity. W charity stream in the fucking chat. $1,708.51 WWF. OF for the three to WWF. Uh, who you got for a UFC 300? I don't even know who's on that shit. Xerxes for the sub. KDOT for the, for the 250. Who you got for you? Oh, you already read that. Wait, no. Who you got for UFC 300? That's two different people. Oh, wait, no. You just changed your, your name. B for the sub. Xerxes for the sub. But I have no idea. I don't even know who's on the card. But chat, that was W stream, W charity stream. Uh, we're going to be posting on YouTube. Literally, like, right now for people who want to fucking watch. It's going to actually be a pop of meat video. Um, so go tune into that. Literally just posted. But, um, yeah, you know, hope you all had fun watching the stream. I had a fun time streaming. If you have any videos you want me to watch, games you want me to play, send those in the video suggestion. I have game suggestion tab on Discord, exclamation point Discord. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Um, I would appreciate y'all's suggestions, uh, genuinely. Uh, if you have any videos you want me to watch or games you want me to play, send those there. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to be live at around 1.30, 2 p.m. EST. We're doing a sim game Saturday, a bunch of random games. Sunday is going to be another two stream uh, react and philosophy react stream. Monday is going to be all of Man of Madon. We're going to be playing the full game. Uh, on Monday, Tuesday, I'm not live. Wednesday, we're going to be doing scary games. Thursday is going to be Fortnite, maybe Rainbow Six. Friday is going to be uh, the fucking Lunchables uh, review. Uh, we have 10 different Lunchables that we're going to be fucking unboxing, reviewing, rating. Saturday, next Saturday is going to be 420, getting high, doing fucking, you know, reacts, gaming, tiers list with JoJo and shit. We're going to be doing a bunch of shit. But yeah, hope you all had fun watching. I had a fun time streaming. Uh, and I hope to catch you all in future streams, whether it be tomorrow or another day. Go watch the YouTube video that I just posted, and let's raid, uh, fucking, let's raid Grizzy. That motherfucker just went live. Hope y'all had fun, and I will see y'all soon. We are going to raid, uh, is my raid gonna work? Because my chat glitched out. I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Let's see if I could get it working. If not, we might not be able to raid today because my fucking chat glitched out midstream. Let's see if I can do it on this. Okay, it is working. All right, we're going to raid. I will catch y'all soon. We are going to raid in five, four, three, two, one. See y'all tomorrow.